e8, I have knight f6, I win the pawn, fall for it. If he doesn't play rook e8... Nothing is in Whoa, Jesus Christ! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, I have to turn that off. Holy jeez, I... That was the worst ever. That was the worst jump I've ever been given by this. Okay. I think we're both live, actually. Yeah, it looks like. Looks like we're live Hopefully. and people can hear us. <laughs> I hope they can hear us well. That's the, this that's is, the first thing. This is going to be quite the Sunday show today between... Uh, th there's a real... The real match going on right now is between me and Tommy. Tommy, Tommy Shelby in my Twitch chat. And then there's going to be another match between me and uh, the one and only Last Seven Samurai in the French. What's up, JJ? Not much. How are you, Danny? You know, are you ready for this match? It's a Sunday. I'm. Uh, I made some coffee. Um, in case you're wondering what kind of coffee it was, JJ, take a good look at my camera. Let me see. Uh, looks like it's it's reversed. French roast. <laughs> nice. Oh <laughs> well, I think this is gonna nice. be my new emote. This is gonna be the new emote on my channel. Organic French roast. Because if it's not organic, you're a bad person. That's what the world teaches you. So okay. we'll see after the show if you will actually want to make any more like <laughs> Anyway, jokes aside, JJ and I are here as friends to help all of you. All right. I know you think this is like a, a battle that is between us. This is really a battle between all of you guys, whether you should love or hate the French. So JJ and Aaron are going to come together today as a unit, as a family mm -hmm. unit and help everybody figure this out. Right. Yes, that's right. It's more like a entertainment and friendly show. <laughs> entertainment and friendly show. Um, but uh, so we're going to be playing French. I'm going to be white every game. You're going to be black every game. I think we're going to we're just going to go with what comes naturally. If 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 fans in the in either chat room have a suggestion of a specific line, I'm open to that. But overall, I think that you know this wouldn't be a match if you weren't trying to play whatever it was that you prepared for me for weeks because you're taking this match way more seriously than I am. And I'm going to play what I used to play in over-the-board tournaments like 10 years ago. So, Yeah, I suggest you to play uh, the Lions you know best and <laughs> like the the reason why you say French is bad because right. I can try to draw us pretty much everywhere if I but, feel like it. <laughs> but we're going to do this. We're going to do this deathmatch style, right? We're going to do this... Right. Um, with 90 minutes of five minute then we're gonna do we'll take a quick break and then we'll do an hour of three minute and in the last portion the bullet we're gonna just openly talk trash so i think we agreed on a format where once we start i'm gonna mute you to my chat so they can just they'll see you on camera but they'll just hear me and you'll do the same on your side so that none of your fans have to hear me god forbid right and then we'll and then we'll play some chess by the way i'm sorry to interrupt someone entered into my account trying to understand how that is even possible <laughs> someone, someone just logged into chess.com as you i mean it just said some like some other login was detected but okay it looks fine it maybe looks you fine have a now. second browser open i've logged myself out logging in firefox and chrome at the same time pro tip no. all looks good now <laughs> hilarious Maybe uh, you're hacking my uh, <laughs> I, uh, hacking my board. <laughs> I would love to do that. I would love to do that actually. Firefox, uh, Firefox, FTW. Um, well, uh, anyway, anything else we want to say? Does the chat have any other questions? Does anybody have anything nice to say? How's your chat going? My chat is good. I have mostly the people I know. No new faces. I okay. see chess here. So and. Uh, just said, sorry guys, we had to hack JJ for a second. So I know what's going on. It's already a, uh, <laughs> okay. No time mods. It's going to be that match style. Um, well, it wants too much. My producer made a new emote, um, with my, uh, Jimmy Neutron hair that I've been rocking lately. And someone just subscribed to my channel, I think to get that emote. So, you know, JJ, I'll subscribe to your channel. If you subscribe to mine. 
<laughs> Deal. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Like a good plan. I <laughs> uh, no, I don't even. I, I think I am already subscribed to yours, or if I'm not, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure someone gifted you a sub at some point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I'm excited to do this. I say we throw down. I'm going to I'm gonna try to destroy your face. So I love you, and I know you're a great... Look at that. Mr. Tommy Shelby, you know, uh, you, uh, coming through. Um, <laughs> uh, I know that you're, you know, you're working super hard. You're, you're becoming one of my favorite streamers. I love it. But I'm going to try to destroy your face today because for the French... To, to, to have a victory today would lead to a lot of, of uh, verbal abuse that I'm going to have to take from other people, and I can't I can't do it. I already take enough of it. so Yeah, and I'll be doing the best on my side just to defend this opening, and I'm pretty sure even if I get through this challenge, I'll be having more challenges waiting. Uh, right. so, <laughs> so you're already <laughs> looking past me. You're already like, I'm going to crush Danny, and then Robert Hess is next. Is that what's up? <laughs> I mean, I'm not uh, saying this like 100%, but, <laughs> but I need to a little uh, into the future. <laughs> Maybe I'll have like a rematch. Well, I'll I tell you what. It. If I beat you, then Georg Meyer's next on my list. I'll tell you that. True. True. Yeah. You know? So this Although, will be more like a series coming up rather than a one match thing, hopefully. I think Robert would have my back. I think Georg would have your back. Though Georg just denounced the French himself the other day. He denounced it. I didn't tell him. Well, he did yeah, himself. Yeah, I mean, he said that maybe, but he will still play the French. So. Yeah, <laughs> true. All right, well, anyway, are we ready to do this? So as soon as we go live, I'm going to mute you on, on Zoom, and we're going to yeah. rock. Uh, and do we, like, uh, unmute ourselves at any point, like in the middle of the match, or not at all? If we want to say something to each other after the game, um, we can do that. Mm-hmm. Um, Okay. Um, but, uh, but otherwise let's just play, let's go for it. Let's try to destroy each other on behalf of everybody else. Cause we know you and I are just full of love. Um, but let's, let's do this. Let's try to beat the living bleep out of each other so that everybody's happy. Okay. Exactly. I think that's, right. that's the goal. You ready, Sadie? You ready, Freddie? Yep. Re ready, Sadie? Ready. ready, ready. Here we go. Challenge. Game on. Good luck, buddy. Yep. I'll mute the microphone. Oh, wait, so 90 minutes. So we have about an hour and a half from about right now. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, he's gone. Now we can talk bad about him, everybody. I guess I got to go first. We know what this is going to be. It's going to be a French. We've got a two-second increment. Hope you guys can all hear me and that you're all excited to be here. No draws, please. I don't I don't play draws. Shout out to John Davies. Davis, thank you so much, man, for the sub. Thank you to... The last Tommy sub before that. It's like, Tommy, did I do something to deserve that? I mean, do we, like, can we figure out our relationship here, Tommy? Do we love each other? Do we hate each other? Is that, is it one of those things where our makeup chess is really good? Like, you and I fight a lot, but that's because uh, that's because we have the best makeup chess in the world, right? Is that it? I think that's it. I think we're that kind of couple, you know. Um, anyway. Here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna destroy the French because the French sucks. Oh my god! If he does this, this is not even a real French. This is like let me just accept a slightly worse position and then try to outplay Danny because I think I'm a better player. This isn't a real French, okay? Um, and he's already laughing. I don't even want to. I don't even know what he's laughing about. Um. <laughs> Thanks, Tommy. Appreciate that, buddy. That was um. That was great. Wait, you guys can't hear me? JJ can still hear me? That's on him. He needs to mute me. I can't hear him. Maybe he can still hear me, which is sad for him. Just press the mute button on Zoom, bro. Press the mute button on Zoom. Like, mute me. If you hold your mouse over my camera on Zoom, there's a mute option. You should be able to... Or just, or just mute your desktop audio. Now I'm getting distracted helping you with technical stuff. This is—is is this all part of your plan? Is this all part of your plan? Um, I've also been watching the Hikaru battle versus Fabiano today. That's been interesting, right? For those of you who have been, maybe I'll give some opinions on that. Mm. 
See, thank you. Thank you, John. John, even John is disappointed in you, JJ. He's on your team, so he's openly rooting against me, but even he's disappointed in your decision to play D takes E4. Thank you, Selmut. Thanks for being here. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Should be fun. I've, uh, this is my own setup on my own computer. Haven't really streamed myself in a long time. Um, but this is, uh, where's, where's BJH when you need him? Oh, there he is. Oh, right as I said that, I saw your name. What's up, BJH? I love you. I love you. <laughs> BJH, I love you. All right, so now there's actually several good options. I can play D5 and try to undermine the pawn chain. Let's always remember to hold the right uh, key when you queen. I can play D5. Um, but D5, he's not going to take, obviously. He'll play something like Knight F6, and then I'm probably fixing his structure. But, okay, white's just better here. We all know that, okay? Um, I can also play Queen D2 and sit on this structure, try to castle long. They're going to take on D4. What am I supposed to do here? C3 is also fine. White's... I can also castle. If castles and they play... If they move the knight there, I can also still play c3, which makes sense as well. With this early c5 line, they're not going to castle long. So that's the thing. I'm going to castle short. Can he still hear me? Can you still hear me, JJ? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. You, uh, that's like cheating. Your list, I can't hear you. Dude, go into your volume tray and mute your volume. And then in and then in Streamlabs OBS mute the mute the desktop audio so people can't hear me. Somehow I feel like this is all part of your evil plan to listen in on my thoughts. <laughs> you know? What's up, T? I got to make you a mod, buddy. I need some more mods on my channel. BJH is a mod. All right. So he plays bishop f6. Am I really worried about b2? Queen d6, bishop b2, rook b1, bishop moves. Probably queen a4, actually. Queen a4, bishop b2, rook b1. I'm not worried about it. I'm going to trust my instincts and play quickly because that's all you got to do against the French. Trust yourself, okay? Because you're worth it. Pretty sure that's a, that's a makeup line, but anyway, you're worth it. Nobody would ever voluntarily listen to your thoughts. Says the guy that's here on listening to the stream, Tommy. Hashtag, take a look in the mirror, buddy. Um, all right, so he wants b5. Do I even care? I probably don't, really. Um, I'm going to ask him what he intends to do about that king in the center. What you doing here, buddy? I got a threat of knight takes f5 here. How's that feel? If b5, queen f4, again, if bishop b2, rook over, bishop c3, I move the rook. There's no... Yeah, you better, you better run. You better run, right? And I'm still, I'm still not worried about that pawn on b2. Maybe I should be now. All right, I'll play c3 and back the lady up to c2, put the rook on d1, play knight h5, and then relocate with some sort of knight d4, rook d3, rook lift. Can somebody say, can somebody say checkmate? I say mate some, you say JJ's. Mate some. Mate some. I don't even care, dude. Like, I literally don't care about what you're doing right now. I literally don't care. Okay? You can play knight a4. I don't even care. I think you've forgotten. You've forgotten what life is really about. This show is about bringing the troops home. Are you into getting mated? Because I'm into mating people. I got four kids. Just kidding. That was inappropriate. Don't worry. Nobody watches this channel. Nobody watches this channel. It's okay. I can say things like that. Nobody's watching. You know what we are doing here? We're roasting the French. Welcome to my new emote. I need to get an organic French roast emote. Organic French roast emote. Will someone remind me of that, please? Thank you. Okay, how do we checkmate this guy? I mean, is this even, is this is this really happening? Is this serious right now? I mean, somehow we're in this match. Does he know that he's going to get checkmated? Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he didn't get the memo. I'm a little, oh, I'm a little, what? Really? If queen h5 takes g5, at the very least, I have some sort of draw, right? So we'll just continue to trust our instincts. Okay. Queen check. He's going to run. Notice if he played king e7, I had knight d5. And I've still got all kinds of nastiness here. Problem is he's threatening knight e4. I have to be a little careful about that. 
So if I take knight e4, check h8, he moves, queen d4. Alright, we'll go for it. Somehow the French is, is, as usual, surviving by the, you know, by the hair on its chinny-chin-chin, chin, right? Just barely not getting mated. Title of the autobiography for every French player. Just barely not getting mated. <laughs> Just barely not getting mated. JJ. Every French player. You can check and check on the light squares, brah. I might even give you a draw. What's he gonna do? Are you serious? Are you serial right now? Oh, I just said, are you serious? And Siri popped up. Hilarious. Okay, um, I might just have to give him a draw. He might have we weaseled his way out, unfortunately. Um, okay. Not ideal for me if we if we back up and take a quick look. I wish I could actually... All right, I want over. time out. <laughs> what? I want time out. I can still hear you, and I can't mute you. <laughs> you can't mute me? No, because okay. you you muted me from your end, but I don't have the powers to mute you. I just don't. Okay, so you barely survived this whole thing, I guess. I didn't have a mate yeah. as much as I wanted to. Anyway, um, all right, but well, let's figure out your mute thing. Just go. So let's go to your task tray. Mm, I only have two webcams, nothing else. <laughs> no, no, like your like your settings in like the task tray. So like your volume settings, like in Windows. Like if you click on the volume settings in Windows. Yeah. Like, like right, you know, like you click on your volume setting and you mute your computer so you wouldn't hear me or music or, you know. AOL what if I want messenger. to hear music? <laughs> what? What if I want to hear music? Well, then we have a problem, right? I mean, but at this point, we might just have to roll with it. Um, okay. Actually, wait. Oh, wait. I got it. Oh, wait. No, I'll just mute myself to you. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to mute you, and then I'll mute myself on Zoom, and that shouldn't have... I was worried if I did that, it would affect the stream, but hey. we're. I don't we're think not, so. <laughs> we're not amateurs here. All right, so... JJ barely survived with a draw. Let's all give him a round of applause. Now we're going to focus. Now we're going to focus. And, I was uh, distracted the whole time. And I wasn't? Okay, I mean... <laughs> all, right. all right, anyway. And you got to hear my thoughts, so it wasn't even safe for me to design, devise my own plan. Okay? I mean, like, all of the thoughts were wrong. So I, I was just distracted by <laughs> okay. the... All right, let's go. Let's go. No more. Chestnut checkers, thank you with the tier one sub. All right, JJ, I'll see you on the other side. Yeah. Okay, now I muted him, and I'm actually muting myself. Okay, so this should be this should actually work now. And uh, boom, town, boom, game two. Here we go. Now JJ is going to be focused, but I'm also not going to be spotting him. We'll see if he continues to play D takes E4. Right? Okay. Is this the line of the French he plays? If this is the case, then JJ isn't even a real French player. Like all of this, all of this trash talk. You know what I mean? He's not even a real French player, honestly. That's where we're, that's what we're realizing because this isn't a real French. This is just a slightly worse position. This is just a, a Scandinavian structure, right? He might as well join Team Scandi. Forget Team France, right? It's ridiculous. It's just a bad position for Black. Thank you, Chestnut Checkers. Thanks, everybody, for being here. This is my own personal channel. You know, obviously, everything I do is in some way affiliated with Chess.com for the rest of my life. So, you know, usually I don't completely lose my bleep, even on my own personal channel. But you're watching, you're watching Danny Therapy when you're on this channel. Let's see if we want to repeat this. So now he takes with the queen. Okay, who who improved first then, right? So he said all my ideas were wrong. Who just played a different move first? Hashtag you decide. Am I right? Um... Okay, so he's going to take blah, blah, blah. I can also trade and go to the end game. He just thinks he's a stronger player than me, and that's where we disagree. So, all right, fine. Um, all right, we'll go for this. Let him let him play an end game. Let him play an end game with me. Uh, and we'll see. Thank you, BJH. 
I better not lose any games? Dude, I'm gonna lose some games. I'm a human being, okay? This isn't Robo Hess, okay? If you want perfection, go watch Hikaru Nakamura streams. You know? Um, really, he's gonna let me hold on to that pawn if I want it with b4. b4, rook d3. b4, rook d3, rook c1. B4, Rook D3, Rook C1. All right, I'm going to make him prove it. Let's see. See if he wants to prove it. What's up, Pars7, uh, whatever your name was? What's up, dude? Thanks for being here. Thanks for sharing this moment with me. It means the world to someone. Thank you. Not any. What is that what is that what does that mean to you if I don't lose any games? If I only draw and have victories? Yeah, we got one hour for no, it's actually ninety minutes for five minute. Uh happy for apples, hungry for apples. And then sixty minutes for three minute after a quick break, and then we'll do um the last half an hour where we can both hear each other with mutual trash talk. So here's the thing. If he plays rook d three here, now I gotta do I have to submit to ninety two? If I have to submit to 92, he doubles. I have time. 92, he doubles. I castle. I can eventually get the knight to e1 and kick him off. But the problem is that I'm really giving up a lot in terms of development there, right? I don't know. I'm still going to make him prove it. I just, you know, I'm greedy, okay? That's what they called me in high school, Greedy Gary, for totally different reasons, um, which I never understood the Gary part. So, yeah, also, I thought he would do this. I'm just going to play G3. <gasps> what? Why did I just blundered my knight? Oh, my gosh. Uh, I was supposed to play King F1. Okay, well, that was less than ideal. Now I'm going to lose a game, and BJH is going to be mad at me. And you know how I feel about BJH getting mad at me. <laughs> oh, man, hilarious. Um, should I just resign? Should I just resign? What do you guys think? I'm always authentic in my... In my um, in my whore. He doesn't even want to play this on anymore. That's what he's saying, <laughs> which I understand. I don't begrudge him that. I'm just going to, I got to get the jitters out. I got to get the jitters out. You know, that's the thing. I got to get the jitters out now. So right now I'm just trying to get the jitters out. And uh, if I can do that, I might feel a little better about myself. Um... Obviously, knight d3 is coming, and this is a bit of a problem. This is, this is, this is, well, I'm down a piece. Obviously, clearly, it's losing. That's the problem. Yeah, it didn't go well, did it? Did not go well. This whole, uh, this whole playing g3 thing. What was I thinking? Um, I just gotta go back. If I, if I didn't play g3, was I fine? Yeah, he wasn't really threatening to take on g2. Right? So I could have played king f1. Okay. Anyway, that's for a later time. Uh, what's going on here? Um, now at least I can play here. Maybe. Just got to get the jitters out, people. So he's going to give back the exchange because it would just be winning for him. We'll do it just 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 to have a little bit of a little bit of chess left to be played, you know. We shall be free. I got to get these old jitters out, you know. I may have jitters, but I'm not a quitter. Okay? I'd like to check and go win that uh, pawn there. But that's that's not ideal. Yeah. All right. Time is. Uh, we're running out of options here, people. 
And there's no there's no way to flag him either. We got the, Okay, so I'm going to have to play good chess today. That's the lesson. The lesson here from this game is you have to play good chess, Danny, because you can't flag him as increment. He should be trashing me. Oh, man. He should be trashing me. I just blundered away everything. All right, all right, all right, fine. Fine, 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 fine. Okay, I can't rematch, though. If I rematch, then that ruins it, right? I can't, just to be sure. Yeah, okay, rematch would give me black, so we got to keep doing it this way. All right, here we go. Game on, time to focus. Um, I need to remember what I do in this line. Honestly, I'm, I'm partly forgetting what I do in this line. Uh, gosh, I'm so rusty. I used to be a good chess player. I gotta remember my line. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Um, uh, the Frozen Icon, Direct Relief Charity, 20, Balajid 1-3. I don't even know what that means. Same line with Knight C3 instead of Knight G3. Yeah, that's a line, right? Yeah, I know. But I used to play this line with Knight G3 and then Queen E2, and there's like ideas where you castle long and get an attack, Knight takes F5. Again, this is why I got my Queen trapped on H1 against the Chess Bras. <laughs> the worst amount to know about electricity is a little bit. Just enough to tell your wife, I can install the ceiling fan. You ever been blown off a ladder? Okay. <laughs> I have. By touching wires that weren't supposed to go together. Um, the, uh, the worst amount to know about electricity is a little bit. The worst amount to remember about your opening theory as a former professional player is a little bit. Okay. Because then it's like you, th you, you justify the way you're managing your time and approaching it with like, this is good for me. And then you're not thinking about the little details that you would if you didn't know the opening. If you don't know the opening, then you admit that to yourself. And then you're like more engaged on a critical thinking level like right away, right? So this is pretty typical stuff. Yeah, that makes sense, uh, John. <laughs> that, that hurt to type. <laughs> oh, man. Um, one of the only times I actually scared my son, um, well, that's not true. I mean, dads discipline their kids, so I've definitely had to discipline them from time to time. But one of the times I, like, scared him as a baby, like, you would never, it was, he was, like, sticking a fork into an outlet, and I, like, freaked out and, like, yelled, like, Nash, no! And, like, he, like, scared him. You know, you hate that. You hate to scare your kids, but sometimes you got to, right? That's part of learning healthy boundaries is, like, oh, I can't do this, right? Um, all right, so this isn't good for him. D5, ED, knight F5, no good. Bishop C6, he takes, no good. Do I really want to castle long? Probably not. But is he is he threatening to, to take on D4? I guess we're going to find out. Right? Let's do it. Let's find out. So, uh... Yeah, we're going to find out here. I say make some, you say noise, make some, make some. Total mute game? Wait, are we both muted? No, we're both not muted. Don't say things like that, Liebers. That scares me. This is this is the first of many horrible positions he will have as black. Whether I convert them or not is another question. What's up, Bay? You just got here. The party is rocking. We've got to Tommy subbed on his own. It's like it, it must be Sunday. I don't know, right? It's 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 even a party, babe. I lost I lost one game. I was up a paw and I blundered, but otherwise you haven't missed much, okay? Thank you, thank you, Tommy. Um, all right, so I can take and then take f five and I win a pawn, right? E six is pinned. I can also play knight takes f five straight up. Pawn takes, bishop takes. They take back and then queen takes e seven. He's going for something dubious where he wants to play f4 and then use the g file. That's his plan of giving this up, right? That's his plan. So I can play 
I can also try to keep the knight in the center, right? I can play this knight takes f5, takes, then bishop takes, takes, then take e7. I actually really like that. I'm going to do it. Takes, takes with check, takes. Okay, we'll do it. Yeah, I think so. As usual, a bad opening leads to bad tactics in the middle game. It's typical stuff, right? If you both sub yourself at the same time, what happens? Is that a glitch in the Twitch universe? Um, okay, if I play b4, or bishop takes first, bishop takes, takes, takes on c6, Takes on c6. Queen takes. Do I go back to g3 or e3? I guess I go to g3. Just have to be careful here of the queen on the diagonal. But I still have b4 coming, right? b4 and b5. That's got to be an idea. b4, b5, the queen moves. Let's see. b4, b5, queen moves. e6 falls with check. b4, b5, queen d6, rook d1. Where is he putting the queen? Queen d6, rook d1, queen moves, e6 falls, if queen e7, knight takes f5, if queen c5, queen e6, if queen d5, c4, if queen d6, rook d1, queen moves, knight takes f5. He's just busted here. But again, this is like, this is total, right? Total bad French behavior. Um, okay, c4 seems good, right? c4, f4, that's his idea. I can also take and play rook e1. I can play rook e1 straight up. If c4, I'm threatening c5 in a lot of positions. c4 here. c4, f4, knight e4. He wants to play this like f3 idea, but I'll just take it. That's two pawns, right? Yeah, let's do it. What do you got? Show me. Show me, baby. Thanks for being here, everybody. What's up, Ash Zookeeper with that sub? Oh, gifted sub to Kitty Kitty. I love that guy. Um, okay, C5 looks good. He's speeding up, right? Which makes sense when you're totally worse. If C5, Bishop takes, Rook C1, B6, Queen F3, I've got the diagonal, but what's the point, right? Probably Rook E1 makes the most sense first. Just get another piece on the open file. Whoa, really? Okay. It's a bit surprising, honestly. Now I can play c5 and c6. I can also play queen h5 and force the queens off the board. I can also play queen f3. And then he plays there. I don't want to start taking too much time. That's usually what I do once I'm winning. Start to blow it. Um, all right, let's get the queens off the board. I'm up a pawn, right? Okay, let's do it. Right, he's got a strong bishop, but I'm up a pawn. I can play king f1, king e2, king e3. Thank you so much for the subs, Chess Bay. Thank you for the gift. You guys are amazing. I'm sure he is talking trash in my lines. He won the first game, so he's feeling a little overly confident, forgetting that he was down a pawn. They blundered a piece in one move. All right, lol. Um, if he plays rook g8, I can play knight f6 and knight d5. That d5 square is calling my name. I'm going to play king f1, walk the king out on the light squares if he plays f4, right? Because then we've got these targets here. Ooh. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay. I see. Let's go here. Really? Okay, let's do it. Then what? What's the idea, boy? You gonna go Bobby Fisher? Never go full Fisher. Go ahead, go take H2. Do it. Go full Fisher. All right. So now if I play G3, F3, King up, E4 is gonna fall, right? Because Rook D4, Knight F4, there's no mates. So we'll go for G3. If he takes, 
I can even take back with the knight, I guess, and then force him to go into the rook ending. The rook ending is probably something only I can win. And probably I should, actually, because if I don't, then that knight is kind of awkwardly trapped. So after takes, takes, he'll probably play rook d3. Um, but my idea was I can even play rook c1 and go around here, right? Ah, interesting. Okay, if I want, I can take and then play king up, right? So let's do that. Take and then king up to e3 and go after that pawn. If he plays rook e8, I have knight f6. I win the pawn for it. If he doesn't play rook e8... Nothing is in Whoa, box. Jesus Christ! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, I have to turn that off. Holy jeez, I... That was the worst... Ever. That was the worst jump I've ever been given by this. Okay. Um, I have to turn down my desktop audio way down. Okay, I'll try it right there at 10. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was literally the worst thing. Oh man, that was hilarious. Wow. Crazy stuff. Well, JJ's going to resign this one, looks like. He's got that I'm about to resign look on his face. He gets that from time to time. Not his first time with that look, if you know what I'm saying. What do you mean you can't hear me? You can hear me. You don't hear me on JJ's stream. Depends on where you're watching, right? Okay. So JJ gets his lesson. He won one game by me blundering a piece. And then he continues to play a bad opening. That's going to be the story of today's match continuing to play a bad opening and um, welcome welcome everybody to the show here we go my god that was ridiculous thank you for the bits but i'm about to set that thing where like i don't have to jump for like anything less than like a thousand bits i don't even know what's a thousand bits again a thousand a thousand bits is a dollar right Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh, you're already giving up on your other bad line, JJ? Already giving up? If you guys are just getting here, remember today's theme. French roast, organic style. New emote coming your way. Um, Alright, I don't even remember what I'm supposed to do against this. All I know is it sucks. Alright, I'll do this. I literally don't remember. I didn't prepare for this match. Okay? And I'm not kidding when I say things like that, right? Is he going to play knight f5? I don't know. We'll go this way. Play a3. I'm just going to play principal chess and let him play bad openings, okay? Again, that's kind of the theme of the match. <laughs> I didn't prepare for this. <laughs> Not in my house. Thank you, Tommy. That's right. Of course it's a pod coffee. I know that it's not the best. I'm a coffee snob. Don't worry about it. I know good coffee. But at the same time, um, it's office coffee. Right? This isn't my home this isn't my home setup. This is office copy. So Um Yeah. I can't play G three. I don't know this line. So I'm just gonna develop and rely on the fact that he has a bad bishop on C eight and a and a dubious structure in the French, right? I'm gonna rely on that. That's part of the plan. This makes sense. I'll put the bishop on f4 if he if he does anything crazy, right? Play h4. I'm going to play c3 and just kind of over... No, because then he's going to... You know what I can play is g4. That's real, real freaky. g4, g4, knight e7, bishop g2... Um... E5 by him, clearly, right? That's got to be the principled move. Yeah, that looks rough for me. Make a slow move. I might play G4, I might not, right? I know it's wasteful. Okay, first of all, there's a lot of things that are wasteful, okay, that people do. And I understand, don't don't lecture me right now about the issues with a Keurig, please. All right? Please. You do what you got to do. Okay? Yeah, this one didn't go well. I'm going to have to rethink. I'm going to have to rethink my approach out of the opening on this one. 
tanks and then castles long seems like my best choice, which is really funny because crazy aggressive and interesting and not really my favorite. Not really my favorite here. Um, but uh, that's also true too, <laughs> right? <laughs> paying for paying for chess content in the era of free information also true, right? You know, really the only the only future to the web is experiences. It's one of the reasons why you know our company has been really happy with the relationship with Twitch. Like speaking real, I mean we we. We do a lot of professional development at chess.com. Maybe this surprises you. I read up a lot on just different blogs and different thoughts about where content is headed on the web, you know, where, where real protection is for companies long term as far as the value offerings they provide. And the truth is people people can get anything anywhere, right, for free. And ultimately, you want to give people experiences that they value because the human connection, that's what Twitch is. That's why people continue to go for things on chess.com. There's an experience they value more than even like the justification for the content, you know, and and I think that um, it's one of the reasons why like Facebook is is like had became so powerful because nobody ever wanted to leave Facebook anymore. Like once you could get your fake news on Facebook, why go anywhere else, right? You just get it all there. So um, you know, it's it's an interesting discussion, Tommy. That um, is probably not something I should have right now, given that I should play chess. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Um, oh, wait, I missed knight d6. Now he's threatening bishop takes b2. I just totally missed that. That's the truth. Because I was distracted by freaking Tommy over there getting me engaged in a conversation about content on the web. Okay, so I blundered. It's actually a huge blunder. Crap. Do I have any way out of it? Uh, hmm. I kind of don't, right? I gotta play this bad move. Terrible move. Terrible move. I was totally, totally distracted. That's true, Tommy. That's why you keep coming back, right? <laughs> Okay. I gotta figure out what happened in this line. He's gonna repeat it until I beat it. Hmm. Okay, I think I just... Yeah, this takes up six is bad. I should play something more... More standard. The knight e2 line might also be unnecessary. Maybe knight f3 first. See what he goes for. Okay, alright. Mental notes for future. This is a thematic match after all, right? I miss bullet brawls too, mate in China. I miss bullet brawls too. You're not alone on that. So hopefully that means something. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know that it does. If I go back, he's going to play queen f3. If I play knight d4, maybe I can get the queens off the board. Knight d4. He has knight e4 though. That's a problem. Remains less than ideal, but I've got to play solidly and focus here while you guys all try to distract me. Hmm. I'm actually not sure that was his best approach, to be honest. I feel like I have better drawing chances here than I would have otherwise, for sure. I really do. Yeah. Not ideal for me. I am aware. But I'm just trying to save this game because I played a terrible approach to this knight c6 sideline. But I've just got to try to hold. I'm losing.
I go for bishop f5? Probably not. Ah, wait. He's threatening bishop g3, so I can't do that. If I go knight g1, knight e2, that's an option. Huh. Trouble. Big trouble, little China, guys. Stay with me, peeps. Stay with me, peeps. Ooh. I totally missed that. Darn it. Only move. Only move. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, that was a problem. Well, it makes sense that he would have some sort of winning tactic there, honestly, because the position was just bad, bad, bad for me all around. Makes sense that he would have some sort of winning tactic there. I gotta make sure I focus a little harder when he does these like new bad systems he's gonna come up with because that's gonna be the theme of the day. He's gonna switch once he knows I've got something kind of figured out, right? That'll be how it goes. Um, do I have any chance in going for something like this? I'm going to try. Oh, I only have 22 seconds. Just remembered. That was a huge mistake by him. Big mistake. I don't know what he's doing right now. Slowly working my way back into this one. Take with check for sure. Probably I should take there and then take there. Right? Unless he's got some sort of crazy tactic. I don't think so. Maybe I've swindled a draw. Only 20 seconds, though. So where does he go now? I've got rook f5. If my rook is loose, I have to be very careful. I just want to take a5, and I should be able to draw. Maybe I've swindled my way into... Uh, the draw. Oop. He goes for this. We give check for sure. And I think we should take. Right? Yeah, let's do it. Um. I'm going to go for this. Whoa, I didn't see that. Okay. That was a mistake then, by me. But I still should be able to draw, actually. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Bad opening by me, but ultimately a French fail. No, I'm kidding. Actually, that was a French success. I got to be totally honest. He, uh, he was much, much better out of the opening, for sure. That was not, that was not good, peeps. Um, so if we go for this line again, <clears throat> I have to be a little bit more prepared. 
Just play more principled moves. A3 is a little unnecessary. All right. Okay. We ready. We ready. We've been at it right now for about um, about a half hour. So if you're just getting here, thanks for being with us. Um, and uh, and and let's let's uh, let's let the train continue to truck, trucking along. Um, I don't know what you mean by play something new. He is playing something new. I think every time we play. Um, but uh, I think like what should I do? Should I just go for like super aggressive, you know, H four G four stuff? I'm not worried about um, Bishop B four. So okay, now. Now what? We go for g3, we play this way. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Still got my copy here and all my friends with me. Right? Thanks for being here, everybody. People like Danny, that, that mug flashing didn't mean anything to us. What does it say on the mug? <laughs> There you go, baby birds, right? It means all my friends are in there. It's like, oh yeah, right. Oh yeah, right. Um. I don't know. I don't know. Right? This format is awesome and would work with other openings. You have forgotten enough stuff like amateurs like me can follow your process developing theory. <laughs> Thank you. I... There's nothing like a backhanded compliment. I appreciate it. It's true. It's not even really bad. You're right. Once once I've developed this G3 structure, uh, nat native oven, it doesn't make sense to, to bring the bishop anywhere else. Um, so I think, um, I think you have to be principled. Ooh, interesting. Is he actually going to go try to go win that pawn? Somehow I don't buy it. Go for this and then c3. I don't think he saw that. c3 over defends everything and then I can relocate the knight. So I don't think that was the best decision JJ's ever made in his life. You know it was a great decision? My new emote. My new emote. Boom. I got tired of being called Jimmy Neutron without reaping the, uh, the benefits. Obviously. Anyway, this is, this is, uh, now I feel better. This is no good for black. So the thing is this, like, obviously there's all the, all the fun and the jokes and the hype aside. Like I legitimately believe like many strong chess players, including someone like Jorg Meyer, who's played the French forever, that the French is a dubious opening against high level, like well-prepared like players. And I also believe that even if he surprises me with some sort of like weird French sideline, it might take a game or two, but I'm going to figure it out. And it's just not going to be that great for him. That's 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 the thing. So, um, yeah, I mean, obviously there's like the trash talk and whatever, but legitimately, like this is this is just dubious stuff, you know. Anyway, sorry. Um, all right, he's going to take on h4. Is that what he's going to do? Is he really going to do that? You're kind of surprised. His king's on d8. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna call his bluff. Let's see if he's going to do it. You like that? You like that, Vey? <laughs> Uh, Aaron made that for me after yesterday's PCL show. So, uh, I'm going to double rooks on the E file, and his position is going to be a busted. Okay, that king on D8. The one thing I don't like is my knight here, but if he plays C6, and there's no. Actually, I'm not even worried about the bishop coming out because E6 falls, so I should just relocate the knight and trade off this pony. Double rooks on the E file. Play for. Oh, he's going to go for it. He doesn't really have a choice, I guess, because he's he's not in the best situation if he doesn't. But am I underestimating the potential here? I could be. I could be underestimating it. I don't really think so. So we'll see. We'll find out. We shall find out. So now there's tactics here. Do I want to play for bishop h3, or do I just want to defend the f-pawn? Probably I just defend the f-pawn, right? A piece is a piece, as they say. If he plays h4, I'll play bishop h3. If he gives me another move, I'll bring the other rook over to e1. 
I like the idea of getting my knight back around. Maybe I can return the favor. The other thing I should probably consider is c4 if I really want to open up the position against this king. But, um... Okay. I'm going to bring the other rook to e1 and see how he justifies his dubious position and peace sack. What's an emote used to yell at you? They're Eric Hansen inspired emotes? I don't get it. Thank you, Braden. What's up, dude? Thanks for being here. Um, I don't get it. Uh, you guys, the French is a solid opening. It teaches a lot of, you know, basic strategic principles and concepts. Okay, like, um, I don't want to let him get out or anything. And if you're trying to improve your understanding of pawn structures, pawn chains, how to play closed structures, there's a lot of good behind the French from that perspective, right? But again, like we're arguing like high level, like chess stuff. And we're saying like, look, it's a, it's a position that is, that is consistently difficult for black with less space and, and, and a weakened structure. And I'm just going to do my best to play some good chess. And I do believe that this has just been a, a successful one here for white. All right. He's starting to take a four rook takes and then queen check. The problem is, is he really right? If I take, if I play rook over, I can also play king h2 or king h1, and it just stops all of this nonsense. Because then if he takes, I take, he takes, I take f8 with check. Um, right? So king h1 and king h2 both make sense. I kind of like king h1 because it avoids being on this diagonal for potential checks. Um, right? Rook to e1 also kind of makes sense. Knight f4... I can't take e6, so yeah, I, I do need to deal with this, and I'm going to deal with it this way, a simple move. Um, he's going to continue to go full steam ahead against my f-pawn. So now the question is, am I, am I just going after the e-pawn, right? Am I going to play f5? Also possible. The other move that's possible is knight h7. It's all possible. All right. What do we want to do here? Come on. I'm getting down on time. We got 200 of you here. Thanks for being here. That's actually not true, Tommy. High school. Not on my fave list, I can tell you that. I don't get B6. I can play A4 now. I can play Tickle. I can I can double. I gotta come up with something something kinda straightforward here to use my extra piece. Right now I'm not using it. got this random idea. I'm going to go for it. I have to try to open up this side of the board to use my extra piece. That's what I think. Now I've got this idea. Go hit that knight.
I don't think he saw this. I had to guess. If he takes, I double. Takes h3, I take f7. Moves the knight. Okay, so now how do I punish him for this? Do I just come back to g5? Let's play tickle for a second. Gain a little bit of time on the clock. And now, let's bring this knight in. Let's do it. Threatening knight g4. If he plays rook takes a four, I actually have knight f7 check. An x-ray via skewer. Fork via x-ray skewer, sorry for misspeaking. b5 is hanging, but there's consistently ideas where e6 is falling. Did he see this? I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out. I'm not sure he did. Because now I'm bringing the noise. I think it's over over, 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 over. Pew. Pew. We got you, boy. We got you, boy. Hey, yo, where's your boy? Uh. Here we go. Here we go. There you go, boy. Let's see if he wants to bring that nice C6 shenanigans again. Hopefully he does. Nope, he's on to the winnower. All things go with the winnower. All things go with the winnower. Okay, are we going to do it? Are we doing this? Let's do it. Not the main line when we're, though. Um, wait, this is going to be one that I lose again because it's a new line. i got to be careful. Oh, he's going in for the main line. Right? All right, we'll do it. We'll see. We'll see what kind of main line when we're action he's into, right? This is the sharpest the French can get. This is, this is about as banana town as you can play a French, by the way. And uh, mainline theory here, there's literally like, a like look it up. There's like a dozen moves here. Like h3, g3, rook g1, h4, queen takes c3, knight takes c3. I play this sort of weird move order with bishop e3. Again, I think from a principled point of view, I think queen takes c3 or knight takes c3, like we're proven sort of the best over time. I'm working on it. Just so those of you who are here, perhaps following my channel for the for the first time, first of all, thanks for being here. Um, second of all, BJH and Chess Bay gave me this idea for Danny After Dark, which actually perfectly stands for the Chess Dad Show, since, you know, that's often my nickname, hashtag whatever, uh, everyone's uh, punchline of make a dad joke about me. Um, but, uh, okay, I need to remember the theory here. Um, I'm going to go for this one, or is it just take now? It might be just take now. Actually, I think it is. I think it's just take now. Um, somehow I feel like this is not JJ's favorite. Like, he's playing this way to try to beat me with a sharp line, but this is not his favorito. Um, anyway, so they were talking to me about doing a chess dad show, Danny After Dark. Who knows? Maybe things get a little weird. I don't know. Just saying. Um, so there's h3 and rook g1. I'm going to play rook g1 to play for g4. He's going to play d3, d4. I'm going to move the queen. Um, yeah, this is all like really standard stuff, believe it or not. Um, I wish I was your illegitimate father. Because I would lo love nothing than to call you my illegitimate son. You know, denied. That's true. That would make my life truly 24-7. They always say that parents live in a better time zone because we tend to get more done than most people without kids do. And people are like without kids are like, they think they're busy and they're not. <laughs> but uh, the, the, the thing is, 2 a.m. to 5 a.m., that's a free time slot for me. Okay? We could do it. Do a little D.A.D. show. John Stamos. Classic. Yeah, John Stamos' TV wife got herself in a bit of trouble, huh? I have a confession to make. 
I was paid to go to college at chess.com. <laughs> LOL. I was paid to go to the, the chess.com school of hard knocks. Alright, so here's how things get weird in this stuff. They're going to sacrifice... I'm going to play g4 anyway. He's going to play knight e3 probably. I'll take once and then take f6. This is kind of how this stuff goes. I, again, I'm playing like really on instincts here. Because every time I win a game, I tend to relax a little bit. Um, and so I'm playing on like the instincts of having played these lines a lot. If I get punished tactically, hashtag forgive me father for I have streamed. And I didn't play the best chess when I was streaming. Yeah, so this is all kind of typical business. It's business. It's business time. Let me tell you, it's business time. Baby, baby, it's business time. It's business. It's business time. Okay, so this is the this is the time where this position is lost for him, but I'm not a computer. This is like typically how this line goes. <laughs> Okay, f7, rook g4, rook takes, bishop takes, queen moves, not a... Queen takes e3, he takes on g4 with the rook or the bishop. I think both are probably fine for me, because I have the f2 square. I'm not really thrilled with this. Like, I wanted to play g5, right? I wanted to play g5, and if he takes f4, just, like, call his bluff. Maybe queen e4 and try to pick up the pawn. Wow, that's interesting. Plays knight d4. Just going all in. He's going all in. That's what he's saying. You just got to go all in in a French. That's what he, in these poison pawn variations. He's not totally wrong. <laughs> but I have a lot of freaking pawns here, by the way. I have a lot of pawns. It's business. It's business time. Okay, but now I have f7, if he cares. I'm gonna get the... I get the feeling he doesn't care. It's business. It's business time. It's business. It's business time. Anyway, this is, um... This is how this stuff goes. Wow, thank you so much, FFC7, for that um, for that comment. I really appreciate it. Really, really, really do. I really, really, really do. Actually, that was, um, I did not see this move coming. That's not a move I want to play. To be honest, that is not a move I want to play. Choo, choo, choo. If I play rook g3, he moves. I can actually defend my pawn. I'm going to do that. It's a little risky. Queen f2 would have forced the queens off the board. And then I'm in an endgame I can't really lose. But I want more. I want more than the endgame. I want all of it. I want it all. Okay, but now I can take d4. Is he really? Is he serial right now? I'm going to do it. He can't be serial. It's business. It's business time. Let me tell you, it's business time. Baby, baby, it's business time. 
it's business. It's business time. Let me tell you, it's business time. Let me tell you, it's business time. Say, say, say. Hello, puppet. That way, if he looks over here, he knows what's going on. Can someone give me an emote? Emote. Boom. It's business. It's business time. Anyway, if you're just getting here, this is a French-themed match on chess.com. International Master Danny Wrench versus Grand Master Mirandi. We are playing only the French opening in this themed match. And uh, the score is currently 3-2, yours truly. I personally believe the French is all that's wrong with humanity. JJ believes the French is worth fighting for. The opening, not the country. Right? Um, I brought I brought it. I made, I made my coffee just for all of you today. Thanks for being here, everybody. Thanks for helping me roast the French. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be too long of a day. We're going to play 90 minutes of 5-minute. Then we're going to play an hour of 3-minute. Then we're going to play dual trash, ta trash talk bullet. So thanks for being here, everybody. I appreciate your viewership. The big problem right now is he's losing his bishop. He's going to go try to threaten checkmate on h2. This makes sense. This makes sense. Indeed it does. Where is the beef, right? Right? It just feels like this is like one move away from him resigning. If he takes on g3 takes, there's no mate. My king can run out. Okay, but now I can give this check and it's over. Because if king c8, wait, he can do that? Oh, my bad. I thought he was a busted in that line, but he's guarding d8. But if I slide over, I'm threatening to play... If queen g6, I'm threatening to play rook g8. If queen g6, queen takes f4... Rook G, queen g8 check. He can take take and play rook f8. Mm, less than ideal. If bishop h3, I got nothing. Queen g6 does threaten, actually. It does threaten um, hmm, rook h3, but actually not enough. Ah, somehow he's actually surviving all of this. It's hard. Hard to watch. Hard to watch, so that's nonsense. Should I just play bishop g2? No. I'm going to go here. Stop the mate. Huh. I'm falling apart at the seams. How does he survive this? But he has. Uh-oh. No time for either of us. Boom. Busted. Busted. Figuring it out in time pressure. Fun fact, that was my name in my past life. Figuring it out in time pressure. Also my nickname in high school. So, it's weird how sometimes your past life karma 
carries with you over and it helps you be successful in future lifetimes. Fun fact. So there you go. Figuring it out in time pressure. That was right before my pre my other lifetime. He who dances with pawns. Um, here we go. The match continues. You want more? You want more? I'll feed you baby birds. Here we go. Here we go. Let's do it. Game on. <gasps> mouse slip. Mouse slip. <laughs> that was a mouse slip. Mouse slip. I, I messed up. It was a mouse slip. Relax, bro. We're just going to play. <laughs> hey, the King's Indian attack can beat the French too. This isn't my first choice. I'd rather play you in a mainline French. Is he saying something? What's he saying? I'll tell him in Zoom. That was a mouse slip. It's business. It's business time. It's pretty funny, actually, is what this is. I don't know the King's Indian attack structure at all. So, fun fact, this is as awkward for me as it is for you. I hope it's as weird for you as it is for me. What the am I doing? E5? He just plays Queen C7. Oh, thank gosh. Now I can now I can meet it with the rook coming to E1. That's the idea. E5 was a blunder there, but he doesn't know the line apparently either. So, um, got away with one. Yeah, queen c7 would have forced d4, and then he has knight f5, and I've got problems, for those of you wondering. In this position, if he played queen c7, d4, knight f5. Alright, so now he's trying to prepare stuff. I can play for knight f1, if d4, c4, if c4, d4. I like it, yeah? I like it. It's like so. It's so nice, right? It feels so good when it's like, oh, right. Watching it on the telly makes me feel real comfortable, right? All right. Um. Ooh. Very nice. Now we have this small bishop g5. Okay. Oh, hello. It is I, your old uncle Sasha. Thank you for being here. Subscribe to your old uh, Danny Ranch's channel if you want to have a very good time playing chess in Siberia. Okay. Very nice. Your old uncle Sasha is here for you. He wants b4. Okay, we, we play this guy. Actually, no, he wants d4. Okay, he's been very, very tricky guy, this guy is. Okay, we will go for this. I will have this guy, he moves like a Peshka, but he's not actually Peshka, right? We have this guy here, he is not a Peshka. He is actually a bishop, but he wants to be Peshka in past life. Okay, now we can put this bishop here, and we go checkmate the bleep out of him. Have you ever had the checkmate bleeped out of you? You're about to. Mm-hmm. 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 Unless I want Queen E3. Whoa! Somebody just gifted a bunch of subs. Thank you, BJH. What's up, dog? Okay. Um. D4 is actually his key. That's the key to the counterplay here. Um. I'd like to just like run this thing up the board and checkmate him, but I need to calculate it out. If bishop f6, d4, can I just play like rook d1 and just ignore it? Bishop f6, d4, rook a to d1, he has knight to d5. That's the problem. So the problem with d4 is he follows it with putting the knight on d5. If h5, d4, h6, bishop back. No, no, no. This is no good. Okay. How am I dealing with d4? I gotta figure this out. Can I just play d4? Maybe I should. Whoa, I can just play d4. He can't play b4. It's pinned. Boom! Hashtag... That's how you calculate, boys. Process of elimination, yo. Get some. What is going on with JJ right now? What is up, Holmes? Hey. Hey, is this a French pawn structure or are you just happy to see me? Huh? Is that a French pawn structure or are you just happy to see me? I think he doesn't realize he's about to get checkmated. It's all right. I'll show him. I'll feed the baby bird. I'll feed him. He wants knight b4. And the question here is whether I have this guy. Con e3. The ladia session. A3. Oh, dirty girl. Dirty girl. Y'all gots to be kidding me. It 
It's business. It's business time. I'm trusting my instincts. The first thing I was taught not to do. Don't be yourself, Dan. Da, I have, uh, I speak very much a uh, chess Russian, okay? Although actually right now my accent is slightly Ukrainian. Ukrainian, they elongate more of their syllables like this, okay? Crimea, Ukrainian, Sergei Karyakin. Russian is a little bit more gruff, okay? Da, welcome to St. Petersburg, hello. It is I, your Uncle Guillermo. Um, anyway, depends on the kind of Slavic accent you're into, right? We're all into different things these days. I don't judge. It's 2019, right? Um, okay, he's got not a not a ding dong, which happens to rhyme with slam a slam a bing bong. So I thought he might do this, but my point here is to go to Saxville. Saxville, you ever been there? I don't know that he realizes what I'm up to here. It's like I've got this tiny little idea right here in my tiny little brain. And he's like, oh yeah, right, what's he doing with it? Um, if he plays 9A5, B4 is hanging, I also have B3. So relax on that, Tommy. I can tell you're worried. Hey, Dan, what are you going to do if he plays B5? That's what you're wondering. Surprise, surprise, huh? Mm. Coffee's getting cold. I have G5, though. I feel like this just feels natural. You make me feel like... I've been locked out of heaven for too long, for too long, you make me feel like <gasps> I've been locked out of heaven for too long. To my knees, you make me testify, testify. You can make this sinner change his way. Uh. Open up your game room, I can't wait to see the light. And it shows, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause you make me feel like I've been locked out of heaven for too long. For too long. All right, I think we got one more five minute. Then we have our first break of the action. Okay, hello, it is I. I am your old Uncle Sasha. Thank you for being here. Welcome. Here, it is I, your old Uncle Sasha. I have this emote for you. It says, hello. Uh, sometimes you have this door and you want to go through it, and inside of it is lots of emotes. Okay, that's what you have there. You can, have, you can get them for yourself if you are into this. Okay, very nice. Here we go. Boom. This, I believe, is our last game before we make this old switcherooski. We have uh, very much good ideas inside of us, and they want to come out. Oh, he wants it again, right? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it just like that last time, right? Real, real nice. Okay, nice. Nice. He wants it. He wants it real, real nice. Because you make me feel like I've been locked out of heaven. 
Shirky Turkey Boom Boom does he have enough room? He is here for all of you. He wants it. Okay. Now this one here is slightly tricky here. I have this guy. He had ideas for me. I forget what he was. Tinfast is now hosting you. I don't even know who that is, but thanks for hosting me, bruh. Is that is that not like how people talk anymore in America, right? It's like bruh. Um What's up, Phil in our position? It's my boy! My boy PP! Actually, he's not really my boy. But somebody gifted him a sub yesterday at the chess channel. And you know me. You know me. Okay, I have not belief in this guy. I have not very much belief in this. What he does not know is that I have played this guy so many times here. He thinks I am making this up for myself. He does not know I have many of these ideas inside of me already. Say the words that burn when they leave your mouth. Tell me your story. But don't leave a good part out. Show me where it hurts. Give me something real and lead me to the part of you that never really heals. Yeah, this is again, we have these ideas inside of us. They are very typical French ideas. Hello, it is I. God, this coffee is just getting worse by the second. Um, all right. So one of the things is when this knight is undermined, we have problems, right? <gasps> no, that was a mouse slip. Oh, I have to be careful. I thought, okay, I got to change my settings. Enable multi moves, auto switch. I thought there's like a click, click move option. Hmm. That was a mouse slip, legit. I'm not making excuses. That was very irritating. Um, darn it. That was a mouse slip, bro. Don't be so happy. Alright, can I save this, though? Um, he's winning f4. If I take with the king, he has knight d4 check. But then what, actually, right? King f1, queen takes f4. Darn it. If I take with the rook... He's going to play queen takes f4. And then I actually have bishop e3, right? Queen h4 check, king f1. It's not 100% clear what his follow-up is, right? This was I did not mean to get in this position. I was actually just about to highlight the issue with the knight being loose, right? Darn it, darn it, darn it. But okay, it's not over yet. But is it about to be? I have to be very careful because apparently now I'm mouse slipping everywhere. Can I get the queens off the board? I can. I'm up a million and a half pawns. Hashtag typical poison pawn. Right? Just bad for black. A.K.A. just bad for black. But I want to be careful. Alright. I'm going to save this guy. I'm threading queen g3 as well as queen to e3. And I've got a million and a half passers on the king side. It's like three of them really. But lots of times these days in America they're like... A, if you've got a whole bunch of something, you just say, like, I've got a million of it, right? Sometimes you only have three. I've got one, two, three pawns, right? But I've got a million if you're speaking American here. Um, all right. We're about to get nasty, Honey Badger style. If you happen to be tuning in just for the first time, this is my personal channel. My name's Danny Wrench. I usually host things at chess.com. Thanks for being here. If you would, hit that follow button. I'd appreciate it. 
like so much, right? I really, really would if you're into it. I mean, what you're doing, what you're into, though, right? Don't do anything you're not into. It's not what I'm into. I'm not doing anything that you're right not into, okay? Right, I'm not into it. What's the deal? Where's he going? Where's he going? I don't get it. Rookie three. Show me where it hurts. Give me something real. And lead me to the body that never really heals. I can just go after e4. Queen g2. You know what's funny? If he plays knight d4, I can castle log. Can I really? That's so nasty. That's nasty. But if I castle long, then he plays knight f3. But there's just no way that's good for him, right? I know that's a dangerous thing to say, but he's down a million bleeping pawns here, right? How can this be any good? Show me where it hurts. Give me something real. And lead me to the body never really healed. I don't know why I got that song in my head. Oh wow. Did I just miss this? Wow. Super subtle. Subtle McGee. Do I have to take? I might have to take. I don't really want to do this. Oh. But I've still got a lot of pawns for the exchange. So I'm hopeful. Rook d6, queen takes e4, rook b6, check king c1, queen a1 and queen b2, and I come up. And he checks and I block. Super dangerous, but again, I've got a million pawns. I have to calculate really fast here. Because I should I should still be winning, despite that two blunders, a mouse slip and a real blunder. Doesn't look good, does it? <sighs> Only twenty seconds. Doesn't look good for me. Oh, crap.
ignore it. I blundered that. Ah, oh, this one got away, guys. This was winning. Way too many blunders in this one. Darn it, darn it, darn it. I wonder if I was even winning there, like, right at the end. Instead of what I did. I don't know. He's got to have a mate here. I don't know what he's thinking about. Only move. Only move. Got to gain some time. But there's got to be a mate for him. Yeah, that was that's a tough move to deal with. <laughs> Uh Oh I'm sure it's mate. Yeah, what happened there everybody? What happened there? I don't know how he survived that. So first of all, this whole castle's long idea was just bad. Queen e5 was a really strong move. I might still be winning, but it's already very, very complicated. The idea is he's threatening to move the knight and then mate me here. So he gets full credit for that. That was unnecessary. And this position here, I should probably just be focused on... Like, I, sh I should move the rook, maybe, to bring the bishop out. Okay, but these are really dangerous positions. That's what the poison pawn's all about. You know? And back here, I did not mean to play rook to e3. I had no intention of giving up this pawn. I meant to play bishop e3, or even queen e3, because there's a battery here. This was just a mouse slip blunder. So, alright. I think it's been 90... Wait, has it been 90 minutes? Yeah, it's been 90 minutes. So let's bring JJ back and say, hey. Um, and then I think we're supposed to switch to 3 minute. Let me ask him what he's into. Um... Then I Yo, just JJ, missed. what's up, dog? Yeah. So All it's right. been ninety minutes. Are we taking a? Are we? Are we switching to three minute now? Or are you yeah. still happy with this? We can switch to three plus two. Okay. And and wait, let me mute my music. You okay. know. Yeah. You know I. You know I mouse slipped rookie three, right? Rookie three. Yeah, Which one? Mouse slip. Uh. Which rook e3? When I played the... rook e3 and you played bishop takes e2. I meant to play I meant to play bishop e3 or queen e3. And I and I mouse slipped rook e3. Oh, okay. Which yeah. Okay, like I, I mean the position's still super tricky. This move queen e5 by you was a really nice find. I think I'm probably still fine even after the mouse slip blunder, but rook e3 was just a total mouse slip. I mean in the second one when I played queen f3 from h1, you can yeah. really play queen g3 back and just force the matters yeah that would have been easier for me yeah uh but all then right played... yeah you wanted to win so <laughs> yeah. i yeah i wanted i wanted to win um and Which and i think that it's, i think it's good for white i uh but you know i yeah, played that position a lot I, I think um I, I did miss rook c7 i was complaining that i'm missing all these like basic things because you're threatening mate in one and you defend c2 <laughs> like yeah, I but I think thinking, you're already winning at that point. Maybe, maybe, maybe rook c7 is actually not so good. Maybe, actually, because yeah. rook d5 comes to b5. Yeah, That's yeah. That's the nice thing. I, uh, like, maybe you just have to sack the bishop on f2 and try to play. Like, no, but just I, play I think you're winning at this point. I'm too slow. But what's amazing is how crazy these pawns are. Like, I just want to play g6 and g7 or something. But Yeah, um, why did you not play it? So, like, after, uh, instead of rook c7, just go g6. And if I take, just go g7, you know? <laughs> yeah, just, like, sack everything. Yeah. I, and, then, I was and then get a new queen on that. I don't, I, I don't know. know. I mean, I, you I played really well, though. This move queen e5 was really strong by you. I uh, I totally missed it. I thought I thought you missed castles long. I'm like, all right, now he's just dead. E4, I did e4. miss castles long. <laughs> but, then, but, but then queen e5, and I was like, oh, crap. 
Yeah. But then I wasn't even sure what happens if you play king b1. Like, I didn't know. Yeah, king b1, queen b5, and like king a2 c1. even? or No, I just go back to c1. Oh, go back to c1. And knight e2, just okay, give up the material and play. Just similar to the game, but at least... Yeah, yeah. You take one pair of rooks. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, well, hey, this is fun. This is a very, this is exciting. Close match. It's just me blundering all the time, which you're, is ridiculous. I'm not going <laughs> to lie to you. You need to clean up the blunders a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's out of opening at this point. It's just me blundering all the time. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's uh, it's yeah. still a French thematic match, though. It's still fun. All right, everybody. So if you're just getting here, we've now completed our 90-minute portion. Yeah. We're going to switch to three minute for the next hour before the before the gloves really come off in the bullet section where we play mutual trash talk, meaning exactly we can hear each other for the last half hour. So, all right, mm -hmm. here we go. The gloves are the gloves are coming off uh, slightly ever more right now. It's going to be a little faster, a little faster. I'm nervous right now. I'm nervous about what happens as the time. I feel like you're probably better than me in time scrambles. Well, I'm not sure because like in some one of the games where I totally misplayed it again, it was this line and I thought like your king was just going to G1 and then you made it safe. Then it took me so long to play like rook H8 and then king A whatever. And it was like 10 seconds versus 10 seconds where you just totally outplayed me with like threatening to trade the queens and then played bishop G2 and I missed it. So... I'm not sure if I'm actually the favorite when all right. it goes. Well, to all right, I appreciate that. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, House of Usher in my chat said your biggest blunder is you keep playing one e6 in every opening. So. Well, I mean, I'm not playing the stereotypical French, right? I'm trying to play actually <laughs> dynamic. Like. Yeah, you're playing. You're playing the. You're playing the manly French here. What's up, guy in box? All right, you ready? Let's do this, dude. Okay. All right, good. Good luck. Three minute time. Here we go. Mute. All right, I'm muted JJ, mute myself, so now he can't hear me, and the match continues. All right, so chat, thanks for being here. This is this is fun. This is this is also nerve-wracking. I mean, honestly, I feel like I should be up four games right now, not two. But, okay, I made, I made this blunder. I mouse-slipped rookie three, which was a big mistake, if you're just getting here. I mouse... Oh, he's back to what he was playing in the beginning. Um... I mouse slipped rookie three, which is really disappointing, honestly. We'll go for this again, though. Hmm. I feel like now I can play d5. I don't know. I'm just trusting my instincts. It's all I can do. Trust myself. Is Anna Rudolph here? She came in time to watch the demise of the French. No? No, she didn't. Okay, too bad. Now, this is what I'm talking about, right? This is where I can take... I can also take and then take e6. I really want something nasty. Takes... Takes f7. I'm playing. I don't need to sack a piece though. Come on, Danny. Pull yourself together. You don't need to sack a piece, brah. Not even sure this is best. I, if he keeps playing this, I'll be happy. My guess is he won't allow d5 in the next game because I think we both know this was a blunder by him. And the only question is how big, right? How big of a blunder was it? Um, it's hard to say. But if he plays b5, I take e6. That's the idea. And if he takes with the pawn, I actually have knight e5. Okay, but now... Now I can also take e6, can't I? I'm going to castle. Just instinctively feels like no reason to sit here and mess around. Now let's take. If he takes with the... Ooh, he took with that way. Now I have queen e2. I don't think this is good at all for him. e6 is falling. a6 is falling. This is just ugly, ugly. Man, man, are they ugly. 
Did I just get a subscriber? Gold Dust Tori? Oh, Chess Bay, what's up, girl? Thank you for the sub. Thank you for being here, Gold Dust. Okay, I'm just totally winning. Knight takes d7. If Rook takes, I take e6. If I take and he takes with the king, are you freaking kidding me? Right? But why even do it? Why not just go win the exchange? I don't know. I'm just going to go win the exchange. Probably there's several ways to be winning there, like Rook d1, Knight d7, Knight f7. But this seems straightforward enough to just go for it and then go take here. And it's just not good for him. It's just not good. Now I'm going to go to e3 because I want to hold d5. Um, yeah, we'll go queen h5, I think. Try to go hit h7. Put the rook on d1. I can never tell if chess is still here. She's there, though. She's watching. I don't think this is any good. I think it's just over. It's over, dog. It's Red Rover. Take e6? Or not. Don't even take e6. Play f4. F oh, don't mouse slip. Wouldn't be my first time today. Now play the rook to d1. But now he's probably going to play... Now if I take e6, move. No, again, there's just no reason to. Just play rook d1. And if rook f8, queen g7. Pretty sure knight c4 is just winning on the spot. Looking at him on camera here. Pulling the old Hikaru. You make a good move and then you look at your opponent on camera. Okay. There's a number of just like absolutely crushing moves here. Maybe he'll play Rook F8 and let me mate him in brilliant fashion on live TV in front of 2,800 viewers. Thanks for being here. You ready? Boom, daddy. He's letting me do it. He's letting me do it. I love this guy. Look at that guy. Can somebody clip that, please? What do we got here? Whenever somebody gets their bell rung on this show, if somebody gets their bell rung on this show, an angel gets its wings. Okay? Why don't I have an emote for the bell? I don't know. When, when when someone gets his bell rung, an angel gets his wings. Don't you forget it. That was too nice of him, I agree. Alright, we're back to old number two, which means this was the this was the second opening he ever went for. This was the second one he went for, if I remember correctly. And what did I do in that game? That game went well. Played h4. We'll do it again. Go here? Why not? Wow. Just doesn't seem so great, right? H4 is the Kakamona French. Did not know that. Thanks, kitty kitty. Isn't that a pawn? The problem for him is that even if I don't take the pawn, how does he save it? Right? Let me just castle. That pawn's not going anywhere. What's he going to do? He's going to check? All right, bring it. Bring it on, man. Hmm. 
Hmm. Bringing the knight back to f4 is actually smarter than f6 because it guards e2 prophylactically and prepares g6. Holy bleep, that rhymed. Somebody drop the mic. I don't have a mic to drop. Somebody drop the mic. I don't have one to drop. But now I'm going to I'm going to go for this because I want to just create targets over here. Undermine the e6 pawn, right? F7 it was sort of the glue holding it together, but no more, I say. No longer shall st it's, he's going to play queen a3 check, but then what? Then what? He's got this uh, queen takes. He's got this queen takes f3, but I can also just play queen c1 here. Can't I? Queen c1, queen b4, c3, knight a3 check, king b2, queen a5. <gasps> Ooh, mouse slip. Oh. Almost, almost devastating. If he plays queen b4, I don't have to play c3 and try to go win the piece. I can. But I'm up a clean pawn. So should I play c3? I think I should, I guess, because because what's next? Like knight a3 check, I play king b2. He plays the queen back, and now I can play knight d2. Right? I can also play the rook down to a7. I can also play the knight back to f4 and just hit. Just hit e6, guard these squares from the bishop. It doesn't seem ideal for him, right? If he plays knight b5, I'm playing a4. I'm playing that move, dad. That's my son, if you guys don't know. He's quoted often on the show because he says, I'm seeing that movie, dad. No, you're not. I am, dad. My, my son Warner has the deepest voice. It is the weirdest thing. It's the funniest thing. Okay, what's he doing? Where's the queen coming in? There's no entry points. I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm seeing that movie, Dad. You're not seeing that movie, Warner. It's rated R. You can't stop me, Dad. What's up, Butta? NM Butta in the house. My favorite type of bishop is a French bad bishop. 3,000 of you with us. Thank you for being here. This is the first ever wrench versus the French where I put it all on the line and decide I'm going to actually put my money where my mouth is and try to play against it instead of just talking bad about it. My personal view, this match shouldn't even be as close as it is right now, but I also know that the time control is only getting faster. Uh, JJ is a very strong player. I'm under no illusion that he is not capable of beating me in every game. But the French is bad. LOL, right? Did people say LOL out loud? I forget if they do these days. I do. When will I hit GM? As soon as I stop running chess.com, I have fantasies, okay? Not those kind of fantasies. I have other fantasies. You know, I just need to finish chess.com, find myself a sugar daddy who wants me to go play chess, and just go. Wow. Plays there. If I take everything on e6, if I take everything on e6, but why? Just play here. Rook h6 is even better, because now I'm threatening knight takes d5. Really? But what's his next move? I don't think he has one. Oh, I only have 40 seconds, so that's that's a slight problem. If I take, he takes, and I play queen c6 check. Takes, queen takes, queen c6 check. He moves. I'm just going to do it. Queen c6 check, and then knight to d5. 
I just don't think he has anything. Where's the mate? Where's his mate? I don't get it. He's down a lot of pawns here. Isn't he? Yeah, he's down a lot of pawns. We'll take here. He gives check. We'll come back. If he checks again, we'll now we'll offer the queen trade. If he checks again, we'll play knight c3 and save the piece. Yeah, we got it. All right. Power chess. What's up, buddy? So glad to see you, man. Glad you're here, dude. Hope life is well. You showed up just in time for this, Powell. You showed up just in time for it. Okay, here we go. Next game. Just got to stay focused, prevent the inevitable free fall that tends to happen in my chess career, right? Avoid the Tom Petty song becoming a reality. Free fall in number, free fall in number. Free fall in love, free fall. Over my Harlem, I want to ride her. Name in the sky, gonna free fall. Out into nothing. World for a while, and I'm free. Free falling. Yeah, I'm free. I'm free falling. Playing instinctively here, you know, I don't know if this is the most accurate chess. I would be highly surprised if it was. Shocked even, you might say. But, um, I don't see a lot of concrete threats for him. I feel like I can try to open things up here, so I'm going to do that. No concrete threats currently. B5 is threatening B6. Ooh, did not see that coming. That's a, is that a good move? Could be. Could be a very strong move by him, actually. Although what's interesting is I'm going to go for this. See if he goes full Fisher, takes the pawn. Where is Bobby Fisher? I don't know, I don't know. Where is Bobby Fisher? I don't know, I don't know. Come on, baby. Take that pawn, JJ. Oh, yeah, girl. How do you want it? Uh, how does it feel? Okay, we're going to sack this just to open up some lines. Coming up as a player in the cash game, living in the fast lane. I'm uh, for real. Uh, how do you want it? How do you feel? Is this for real? You're like a, you're like a, I swear to, I swear he's like a, he's like an attacking banshee, right? He like, he jumps out of his cage and then he's like a, hey, I'm here, I'm gonna attack you, right? I was once lost in the woods, surrounded by samurai. JJ, the last samurai seven. And they, they were like ninjas. 
The samurais were like ninjas, and they crowded around me. And then I had a boom moment of clarity, and I jumped out from behind the woods. And I gave him a one-two, like that. I'm like a, I swear, I'm like a, I'm like an attacking son of a gun when I get going, though. I'll tell you what, I'm going to tell you what. What are you going to tell us, Jed? I'm going to tell you what, Jed. I'm a, I'm a, I'm an attacking son of a gun if you let me get going. It ain't my first time. It ain't my first rodeo. I've been surrounded by samurai my whole life in my family. It's like a dysfunctional group of samurais walking around just spitting toxic behavior. That's my family. Y'all are like a, y'all are here to watch this train wreck of a television show. Oh no, I have very much missed this move. Okay, crap. Okay, very nice. He has good attacking moves. But if I take it, right, he takes it with the lady. How is he surviving? You've got to be kidding me here, right? Takes it. Queen a5. Threatening mate. I'm going to do it. No, I'm not. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to run with the king, yeah? Should I run with it? The shizer. I'm not really sure. Okay, hold on. Two seconds, right? I need a moment here. King g1, queen h2, king f1, check, run, not nothing. He's got nothing there. If takes b8, queen takes, queen a5, threatening queen c5, check, bishop c6, rook to a1. I don't know who's better and why, right? I have no bleeping clue what's going on here. Like, legit, no bleeping clue. possible I should actually just trade. Yeah, I wonder if I should trade rooks. Trade rooks or keep the A-file. Uh, instincts say keep the A-file. Oh, no, no, no. But then he can play H3. And now who's getting mated? I am. I can't do it. I have to trade, even though I don't want to. And now I have to run. This isn't good for me, peeps. I gotta run. Run, florist, run. Uh-oh. He's checking me here. Whoa, snap, that was a great move. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. do do a do do, -do. This isn't good for me, peeps. I think we're going down in this one. Not good, Hollywood. Ah, I didn't see that. Cropoli. Holy cannoli. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. I'm busted. Ain't no other way around it. Uh oh, spaghettios.
Did he just blunder a draw? <gasps> no! Mouse slip. Mouse slip. Not that bird. Resigns. Yeah. Did he almost blunder a draw there? Did I have... <laughs> Did I have Queen A8 check? And then King up and... Oh my god! He, he might have just blundered a draw and then I'm... Because if he goes here, I have check. What? <laughs> I played queen of two because I thought he would play queen a6. But if he goes back to b8 and I check and he comes up and I check. Okay, this has to... Okay, he goes to here. Okay, there's... okay, yeah, no way this is a draw. Yeah, and then he'll just block with the bishop and get out. Okay, yeah, blah, blah, blah. All right, so... That was an exercise in me trying to swindle my way to a victory. Okay, hashtag guilty. Guilty, guilty, right? Just do it, all right? Do it, all right? Yo, you're guilty over there, Frankie. Guilty. Yo, forget about it, all right, over here. Yo, forget about it over here. All right, over here. He's going to go back to old number one. The old wooden ship, native tongue. So he's going to keep playing this this little queen b6. And I have to figure this guy out. Huh? I have no good ideas immediately inside of me for this. I don't think that position was so bueno for him, though. Right? What if we kick... What if we kick? He can't take it. There's no way he can take it. What's he thinking about? Right? Nah. Nah. Yeah. B, aggressive. B, E, aggressive. Hey. Something tells me this whole thing is just bad for him. It could just be my bias against the French coming out, right? <laughs> LOL. LOL. LOL, you say? Yes, I say. I feel like I gotta figure this one out. I'm spending way too much time to not have a bigger advantage than I have right now. That's the thing. I feel like I should have a bigger advantage if I'm spending this kind of time. So. Should I eliminate? I'm gonna eliminate this whole shenanigan for now. I'm not sure it's really necessary, but
He's played faster. You notice that? You notice he's been playing faster? Like he's nervous or something, right? Huh. That's a little irritating. I'm not going to lie. I've got to play faster. That's the thing. I don't really feel like I'm losing the thematic aspect of this match. I, I mean, I don't really think he's got some big advantages as black in the French, as if that were even possible. If takes, takes, bishop there. What's he actually threatening here? I'm not sure. If he takes, he moves, and then I move. I don't really know what he's threatening. Ooh, he takes back that way. That's slightly surprising. Time again, time again on the tickety. I'm losing. I'm losing the clock battle. It's got to speed up. Should I move the king? And then I can play f3 at least. I'm gonna try it. Uh oh, that wouldn't work. Ah. I guess I gotta go for this. As much as I didn't want to do that. Darn it, I messed this one up again. Understand. Oh, he's taking on g4. Very nice tactic. Darn it. I did not see that coming. I didn't have enough time. I'm losing my second one in a row. Not ideal, everybody. Not ideal. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, no good. Not sure what I'm thinking here. Nope. What happened there? What happened there? Well, first of all, am I really even losing that badly? Bishop c4 might be a mistake. Like playing rookie one. If I play rookie one, the e-pawn just falls. I actually don't think that was that bad for me. If I play rookie one, the e-pawn falls here. He's down the exchange. I mean, he's up the exchange, but this guy's falling. I think I think that if I play rookie one, I'm actually fine. And the e-pawn's going to fall. So first, I don't even think it was that bad. But the biggest issue overall right now, if we're assessing my game, is the clock. Right? That's the biggest issue. So... That's the biggest issue. All right. Time to recover. This is probably the last three-minute game before we take a breath and go to bullet. Boom. Yeah, I think um, I think rookie one, I was fine. I mean, okay, like, we could spend a lot of time analyzing a lot of aspects of that. Uh, 
but uh, I think I was actually okay. So am I going to do this again or switch up? I guess I'll go for it again. Um, I guess we'll go for it again. One more time, right? Let's try this. I really want to just like go all in so bleeping hard in this game. But it just doesn't make a lot of sense to do it, you know? I really don't have enough respect for this position. Definitely need to. I'm playing something totally weird here, but again, I'm getting under time pressure. It's the biggest issue. That's the bigger issue. I'm going to go for the P-Sec if he wants it. He doesn't want it. And why should he? H5's hanging. Darn it. What am I doing? But so is this pawn. I don't understand. He likes this, huh? Because he's winning H4, I guess. But this can't be good. I'm going to play a6 and queen e4. a6, b6, queen e4. Bob's your uncle on a8, buddy. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what he's doing with his green screen right now. It looks horrible. I mean, let's be honest, all right? His green screen doesn't look good. <laughs> My podcast isn't really active anymore, though I appreciate it, Mubot. f5 is poisoned. Kitty says. Well, it tastes good, all right? So if I go down poisoned, it, it was a jolly good ride. A jolly good ride. I also like to live dangerously. What is it? Where does he keep going off camera? I've never seen anybody get up so much in Blitz, right? Not sure what he's doing there. Gotta be kidding me, man. I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so. I think this one's over. <laughs> I'm gonna focus, but uh, I don't think this was the right approach there, Mr. JJ Sun. Although I think I might have to use the loo before we start our bullet chess, right? Y'all may hold it, hope telling. I don't understand. No, I'm taking b7 with the pawn, and then the a file's open. And that's mate on a7. So, yeah. I'm going to need you to come in on Saturday. Yeah, hi. Um, queen takes e5. Yeah, not sure. Actually, wait, we still have another 15 minutes. Let me ask JJ. Yo, yo, dog, we still got 15 minutes of three minute? Is that right? Okay. That sounds correct. Okay. Yes. Sorry, I'm just double checking our time. All right, cool. 
Goodbye. I'm just gonna mute us again. It was really good saying hi, buddy. <laughs> sure. Alright, we're muted again. We got 15 more minutes here. Three minutes, yeah? Alright, here we go. One more time, I'm gonna celebrate. Oh yeah, alright, let's get to dancing. <gasps> Back to the winnower, huh? One more time, I'm gonna celebrate. Oh yeah, all right. Let's get to dancing. I don't understand that move. I'm gonna take now. One more time, I'm gonna celebrate. Oh yeah, all right. Let's get to dancing. Is that a face chest emote? Whose channel is that on? I want one. I want one. Is face chest here? I haven't seen him. Him or her. Ish. Never assume you know who a Twitch philanthropist is. Never assume, kids. First lesson. Alright. What's he doing? I can play Rook to B1. If he plays f6, I can take it. He's not even taking f4 yet. It just doesn't seem good for him. One more time, I'm gonna celebrate. Oh yeah, alright, let's get to dancing. I don't understand what he's doing next. I'm gonna play h4. Play h4, h5. Because why not? Duh, okay. That's for Danya, good squares for your pony. That's for Danya. One more time, I'm gonna celebrate. Oh yeah, Pearl Jam, Jerem, me smoking class today. All right. Whoa, what he has here? Ideas inside of him? What are they? He must prove these ideas to me. Should we just trade queens? I think so. Oh, I thought he was going to play d4. I think d4 was better. I think d4 was actually critical. He needed to stop queen b6, but he didn't. Sorry, buddy. I'm not happy about it either. I know it was illegal. It used to be illegal in Alabama, but they're a pretty progressive state these days, I hear. I think I'm going to try this one. Whatever. We'll try it. Yeah. I literally have absolutely zero ideas what I'm doing in this line. Like, like, like zero, right? Like, like, like absolutely zero, right? Plus the queen on d2 just like sucks. What was I thinking? <laughs> I don't even know what I was doing with that move. Oh. Oh, Scheiser. Oh, jolly. Oh, jolly. I see your... Uh, I don't even know what I'm about to say or do. Ooh, I got a sub. What's up, Face Chess? Oh, what's up, Kitty? Thank you for the sub. I do like subs. 
I do. Mr. Butter. Like butter. If I okay, focus. If I play knight c4, queen c6, knight a5, queen e4 check, bishop e2. I don't think that's that bad for me, right? It's like I'm gonna put this knight on a5. I mean, he can take on d4. I guess I just assumed that was bad. Uh oh, that's what happens when you assume. Yeah. Why did I think he couldn't do that? If I trade knight b6, rook a7, it's not good. No, this was all this was all a little bit less than ideal here, kids. What? What the heck am I doing? All right, we're all in. I just I just literally just gave him this game. Thank you, Chess Gremlin. Um like literally just gave him this game for nothing. I didn't even ask for anything. It wasn't even like a hey, how you doing? Like maybe I'll give you this if you give me that, right? No, I just gave it to him. Duh. Right? It doesn't work. He's mating me on C2, but I'm going to let him do it. Checkmate. I'm going to ring my own bell. I'm going to ring my own bell for that one. <laughs> it was a creative way to make up for a horrible blunder, okay? That was not good. Okay, wow. Uh, one terrible game gets another one. So we're right back to only a three-game lead for me. All right, time to focus. I appreciate all the subs. I appreciate everyone being here, all 1,200 of you. It's a lot of fun streaming in my own channel. If you don't like the jokes and you don't like the singing and you don't like the nonsense, this channel is probably not for you. If you like some semi-decent chess, you know, along with um, a guy that's just happy to be here, some awkward jokes, some unnecessary references to the 80s, then this is your channel. I'm your guy. I'm your guy. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing here, Bob. Hey, Carla. Hey, Carla. Carla, can I get the, uh, you had a, uh, meatloaf, uh, Carla. Bears, Bulls, uh, Packers, Carla. I, uh, I wish you wouldn't talk to my old, uh, my old man that way, Carla. Interesting. So we're making, like, a massive trade here. Strange. If I play there, he's going to play c5. What is your opponent's next move? Advice. Queen c3, c5. Knight c4. Queen takes d4. Queen takes. Oh, actually, I'll go for that. Yeah, I will. Hello, Carla. I uh, was hoping you'd come over here. South Dakota, North Dakota. These are the places uh, I like to go with you, Carla. Yeah, I'm going to take it. Roll it like that. I actually think I'm much better in this egg game. I think he miscalculated this. I don't even need... No, I don't even need to play C3 yet. I thought about it, but I don't need to. He's got all types of positional problems here. B7 among them, right?
Takes, takes, knight d6 takes, knight takes. No, that's not good. So we should just back up, right? Yeah. I assumed this was good for me. Pain in the neck, huh? Wait, did I blunder? No. No, I'm actually still golden. I'm still golden. I've got rook d6 coming. I think just rook d6 and it's over. Right? Hmm. <sighs> Feels like there should just be something like really straightforward here. I guess if he plays check, I'm gonna play f4. That should be good enough. If he moves the rook, I'll back up the knight to d2. And then if bishop pins f4, unpins the knight. If the bishop ever moves. Okay, he takes it. So now I can take with either the knight or the pawn. And I'm not sure what the best is. I don't know why. I feel like I should take with the knight. I literally don't know why. Pawn takes rook a8, b7, rook b8, knight a5. I was threatening rook takes there. It's probably just winning. But all right, I didn't do it. So now I can play f4. I probably should play f4 because he's threatening bishop g5 check. Ugh, yikes. <laughs> okay. Yikes. Whoa, now I have knight d5 check. And then I can trade. Knight d5 check. Trade on f6. And then take back on f4. And then I've got this extra a pawn, I think. I've got the a pawn and I've got the b pawn coming. Should be too much. Yeah, he resigns. Where are we at? I think it might be time for us to switch to bullet. Or no. How you doing, buddy? Hang in there. Hang in there. Ridiculous. I I told that I want to quit playing chess. Hey, everybody, <laughs> everybody loves you, though. So stop it. Okay? This is... In case anybody ever wonders, this is how I feel most of the time, because we know you're better than this, and you're kind of just... I think you're having some sort of compassion complex for me today. You feel bad for me today? No, I think it's it's just that uh, I'm blundering all the time. Like, I didn't see uh, queen takes b7, and it's just ridiculous to not see mate in one. Like, I right, could have right, just right. resigned, you know? Hey, but bullet, bullet might be where you find it. Bullet might be where you find so. it, and ultimately, if you win the match, that's all that you're going to remember from today, not your blunders. So. Well, I mean, last, like, on... When was the last Arena Kings? It was on Friday. I came in second or maybe first as a streamer, and I was complaining the whole stream. So, like, after I even win, like, tournaments, I complain. I guess that's in my nature. Yeah, but no, but that's, uh, that's the mark of a good chess player, right? I mean, honestly... For the most part, I think we focus a lot more on our mistakes than we do on our uh, on our victories. Yeah, so. I, I tend to forget the the good moments yeah. at all. Like no, completely. I mean, I, I've gotten I've gotten really lucky in some games, um, you know. And I think overall, 
It's been fun and interesting, and it's not over. We got the bullet. Um, we still got a lot of people watching. Do you want to mm -hmm. take a quick break, or do we yeah, just roll I, through I into bullet? Refresh. What? Wash my face. Let me refresh a bit. <laughs> and just wash my face and be right back. Okay, then I'm going to use the restroom as well and be right back as okay. well. Okay, sounds Everybody, good. Everybody, don't go anywhere. We love you. No. Going to be right yeah, back exactly. for the bullet portion. Uh, right. French Battles continues. Awesome.
haven't managed to come and win the bullet portion in the yeah. Sea Chess Championship. Yeah, it's happened many times. All right. In fact, trust those players. In fact, I blew a huge match myself. I was up four games against um, against Lawrence Trent, and I still mm -hmm. won in overtime. But he came all the way back in bullet to tie it. Okay. So we had a we had a dual trash talking uh, death match. And, uh, and yeah, so what's up, everybody? Thanks for hanging out. Kitty, kitty, hiss, hiss went to full emote mode. Nice. And he's a uh, subber here too with that little, uh, that little tool emote. Anyway, JJ, let's yeah. do this. It's bullet. I'm one not going to let right? you beat me. I'm going to try to absolutely crush you because that's what friends do. That's what friends do. Okay. Yeah, I need I need to go and work on my openings. I agree. And I expect <laughs> you to crush me or try to crush me as well. Remember, now we're supposed to be talking dual trash talk unless you don't want to. No, no. Trash talking is good. I'll probably be silent and <laughs> just hitting you with the moves. <laughs> I'll try. I never did any trash talking chess, to be honest. So Yeah. Uh, like, I did it in the real world, obviously, but not in online platform. So... Yeah, your stream is your stream is definitely educational and focused on positivity. I like that. Right, it's not on uh, trash talking, but uh, I will get experienced on that too eventually. I guess. Um, uh, I more trash talk against viewers who are negative towards me. So <laughs> that happens a lot. I think like, I, everybody enjoys a little bit of banter if it's like mutual. I don't think anybody likes trash talking, whatever. But I think either way for the bullet portion because there's. Not a lot of time. It's a half an hour as soon as we start. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep ourselves unmuted, everybody, so you can hear our our commentary on both sides of the stream. Mm -hmm. And I say we begin as soon as you're ready, my man. Let's go. Let's do it. Good luck. Don't Here we go. Three, though. I'm nervous. Yeah, Whew. me too. <laughs> Everyone enjoys trash talking me, uh, the real Greco. All right, here we go. More French. Which line? Which line? Oh, he wants the winner. That's how you go for a win in bullet, right? Exactly. That's all I need. I'm just going to take all your pieces. Though. Decisive chess. Okay. Uh-oh. You're taking C3 early. Doesn't matter. Uh, it's confusing me. All right, let's okay. Just... Now, this stuff, this stuff is, is crazy, yo. Oh, what am I doing? Okay. I just blundered away the first bullet game. That's how you start a comeback. <laughs> well, well, well. It's too early to talk about a comeback, but okay. I like you. Blundering. This is already looking pretty bad for me, though. Um, all right, let's, let's Are you there? It. Yeah. You're not even talking. I am. Wait. Did I did I crash? What? Wait. Yeah. Here. For some reason your your volume is really low. I don't know why. Is it in the stream? Like, can anyone actually hear me on my end? There you go. That's better. Okay. You hear, right? Because I was speaking like the whole time, but I don't know. Huh. I don't understand why that's the case. What's going on with this right now? Well, I hope everyone... Okay. Chess, can you hear? Uh... Maybe it's just me. That's just strange. I turned my volume up. It might just be me. Well, that's what I'm hoping. Oh, man. I'll tell you what else is just me. It's bad chess. It's all me. Here. Let's see what you want. There, maybe. Uh-oh. Let's bring some pieces into the game. Uh oh. Trying to checkmate you. You told me no mercy. No mercy. Absolutely not. No mercy ever. Straight rooks. Sure. Okay. I'm trying to draw here. No. Not gonna happen. Push. Yasser would be proud. Maybe. Time, time. Oh! Whew. Or what? 
<laughs> oh man, thanks for trying to warn me there. I appreciate it. Okay, <laughs> this was a bad game. A good start for you. Are you re-energized? I'll I'll win. Don't worry. Are you re are you re-energized now? Yeah, I needed a win. All right, that's what I want to hear. Here we go. <laughs> um, game on, game on. All right, let's All right, go. Hold on, I gotta redo the command again and then copy a new this one. This is going to end like fifteen ten. I don't think so. I think uh, Danny is just trying to be nice so that I win one game. Uh, I don't think. I don't that's really I don't true. Think you actually I lost think it. I legit played like a, a schnogger face in that game. Um, I don't know if you know what a schnogger face is. No. Yeah. Um, but that's how I played in that one. Because I don't want to like receive a message from chess.com saying your opponent gave away the game. <laughs> 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 and therefore, you are not actually. <laughs> I don't think that that uh, that that'll happen here. Um, what am I playing again? I don't know mm -hmm. what you're doing here again. Honestly, I forget. I kind of forget what you're doing. Um, this line, I sh oh, the previous game I played something else. I don't know why I went to this one again. Yeah, you did. But you played something else last game. Um, wow. I but okay, this is probably still fine for you. Oh yeah, I'm like down 10 pawns. <laughs> Other than that. <laughs> Other than that, fine. I personally love your position. I mean... It's good for bullet, maybe. If I'm not uh, blundering, but it should be okay. Are you blundering? For... I don't know. I was hoping you were. Well, maybe you're I'm not. asking you. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. I see those. <laughs> I miss other things. I might miss mate and one. I don't blunder strategic things. Well, I do. So, you know. Uh. Ooh. Oh my god, dirty. Dirty what? Trying to trade queens? No, I will not do that. Even if it is bad, I will not trade any queens. Uh, let's go there. Got to get my king safe. Yeah, you need your king safe all the time. Well, I'm surprised you made it to safety, actually. You got to be proud of me, right? Hmm... Yeah. A little bit? I guess. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you going to mate me? Don't do that. <gasps> Time again! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, That's the time control. This is, one <laughs> I where I was, this is one where I was winning, but the time control got to me. I probably should have just f trusted my instincts. Sacked the exchange here, too. But I don't Second know. No, F7's four. fine. F7's fine. All right, I got to speed up. I told you, bullet is not... <laughs> bullet is not necessarily my jam all the time. I need to speed up, clearly. Yeah. Okay? All Come right. Come on, Danny. This is not the 3 plus 2, 5 plus 2, Danny. <sighs> yeah, got to speed up. Got to speed up. I don't know what line to play. You're just giving me all these options. Now. I know. Now you've got everything. Now that you know you can win games... You've got now that I actually remember I can win. Now that you remember you can win, you've you've got plenty of options. I forget why I even went for this again. I don't like this. Well, you always play this, and then oh, you mated me in this one. How do you not like this? I did mate you in this one, but it it wasn't on purpose. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> I didn't mean to mate you. Remember yeah, this? Yeah, this is the one I blundered the pawn and yeah, pretended yeah. that I didn't blunder. <laughs> yeah, this one this one should be good for you, right? That's what I told when I was speaking about the most. But wait. Uh -uh. You sure about that? Not really. I'm not really sure. I gotta be totally honest. I'm not. I trust you. I don't hmm. trust you. But what I am sure about is I'm gonna go for an attack. Um. All right, it is what it is. You're all in. 
I'm all in. Exactly. Like, I have to take the pawns. It just doesn't seem like you can play this way. I agree. Um, wait, am I mated already? It feels like you're mated. How are you doing this? Not. <laughs> I'm just... My problem is, now I'm going to sit here and think too long. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I know, you'd like that. I've been thinking way too long in several of these games. What's your next move? Bishop g5. Thank you for telling me that. <laughs> I'm just an honest opponent. I think you're still busted, even if this happens. Whoa! Maybe oh, I should wrong. not have allowed that. Okay. Ugh. Why did I allow this to happen? Mm. Wait a second. I can take with the bishop. Oh. Yeah. I'll do that. Shoot. Bishop. Oh, my God. That shouldn't be good for you. Yeah, I'm lost. <laughs> I am lost, and you're threatening that. I'm threatening me. That. Don't miss it. Yeah. <laughs> I already missed too many mates. Let's go. Wait, you're not just getting mated here either? I I thought you would be. Whoa, you're hmm. running. Touchdown. <laughs> uh, maybe no touchdown. Blockade, g3, you're playing. Oh, bishop g5 was just the invitation to get myself checkmated. Yeah, I feel like I should have had a mate, but I didn't. Feel like figuring it out. Yeah, I kind of went for the easy route, which, again, is partly because I've been losing on time and I got nervous. So, that was kind of <laughs> what happened there. Now I'm going to go get a new lady, I think. Can mm. I? Not so fast. I want to. Uh... Oh, wait. Uh, a7? Oh. <laughs> oh, wait. You were winning. You could have just got a queen there. Your bishop no, was guarding you won. Yeah, but the bishop on f7 takes on a1. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, well, I got a little lucky in that one. It should have been it should have been cleaner, but you hung with it. So. No, I take on a7, take on f7. I was just too slow. <laughs> oh, man. Faster, Danny. Faster, they yell at me. My whole chat is yelling faster, Danny. Damn it. All right. Again. Okay. Here we go. More French. Which one do you want? Oh, you're back to old number one. Actually, it was old number two. This was the second one you played. All right. But I have no idea what to do. Yeah, I kind of like this one for me. I'm not gonna yeah, lie. me too. But I just couldn't find a line in the middle. <laughs> I don't have a second, so they're not helping me. The team is not prepping. Well, if it makes you feel better, neither do I. <laughs> you know I want to just sacrifice this piece, so I'm going to do it. Oh, God. Takes... I know very well that it's no good. And, uh, in fact, I'm just going to put my tail between my legs and back up. I'm just going to blast the center. Take it on d5. You're blasting me open. Uh, actually, it's a good move that I suggested. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I liked it. Because I have queen e6. Yeah, which I missed. All right. Give me that queen trade. Bring that rook. Okay, what are you doing now to me? Are you doing something evil to me? Mm, not really. It feels like you might be. I want to checkmate you somehow. I've got weird ideas about that. I don't know about checkmating, but... <laughs> um... How you even want to try to mate me. Uh-huh. Like that. This can't be right, though. I agree. This just doesn't look correct. Whoa. Okay, I'll, just... I'll play something very unnatural, which you didn't anticipate. 
Uh, you're 100% right. I didn't anticipate <laughs> it. I did not anticipate that. That's because it's bad. Mm, I don't think so. Oof. It is bad. Yeah, did you miss this? Uh, yes and no. I mean, yeah, I kind of missed it. <laughs> uh, especially now, if you're just mating me, are you? No. Not really. I don't have the intentions, at least. Ah! I was getting mated, right? No, you could have played knight f4, but now you can also... No, but then you, were, then you were checking me and then checking on f1 and winning my, winning my rook. I didn't see any of that. But I know that you're gonna lose. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, I was getting mated. If I, how did I? No, knight f4. One? You defend everything. Yeah, knight f4. Held on. Okay, you're right. Yeah, I didn't yeah. see that. But this was bad for me. I'm looking at it. Knight c6 is bad. This Allowing be... you to get this e5 move. All right, another good lesson in the French learned by yours truly. Yep, don't allow anything to happen. Uh, another lesson taught to me by JJ. <laughs> well, I'm soon going to do, like, never play the French. <laughs> That's right. why I've been playing E5 lately. <laughs> I was going to say, everybody plays E5 now, though. So that's not your fault. Yeah, it's just the world. Yeah, this one is pretty bad for me, I think. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. Neither do I. You know what? I'm just going to be different in my life. you be different in your life. It's good to be different. Yeah, but I feel like I'm going to be different and checkmated. Which is bad. <clears throat> Whoa. Oh, wait, I thought I was mating you. Wait, what? <laughs> How? I don't I know mean, what I was thinking. <clears throat> I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, I see your threat. Okay. Uh... Hmm. Trying to play faster, JJ. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the suggestion. Oops. On that. Am Unk I not that. just winning here? Yeah. Should be. I mean, of course. C6? Really? Yeah, you know. What the... I missed that. Uh, that's a nice move. Thank you, sir. That's very nice. Uh, <laughs> I need a move. Okay, let's just go plan B again. I guess. Feels good for me? No. Yeah. Uh, Not where did you go wrong again. in that one? Everything. No. I don't know this I'm... line, this G3 line, but okay, this is interesting. I guess we'll probably play it again, so I probably shouldn't analyze it too much while you're, you know. I'm not going to play this line. While you're done with it. Beat me. All right, here we done go. Done with it. Here we go, JJ. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Back to old number one. Come on, get it, girl. Uh, Wait, you doing something different? Go on. I don't remember the line. Okay, I'll play something. Oh, wait, is wait, this wait. even a move? Is this a move? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think it's good for you. I actually you're supposed to play know. F5 if you're playing that. That's what I meant to play. Yeah, the F5 line <laughs> is possible. You can do that. I think Fabi plays it or something. Yeah, but I think you're just, like, busted here, honestly. Yeah. 
No, I was trying to do something interesting again, but it just doesn't work my way. Whenever I try to entertain <laughs> with something I don't know, this is what happens. You and me both, buddy. All right, but now what do I do? You're you're busted, but I got to figure it out. I don't want to figure this out. Well, we can collaborate, I guess. <laughs> What's your threat? Self me. What's my threat? Nothing. I'm just moving pieces around towards where they're supposed to be. <laughs> kind of towards your king. Still no threat. I know, but I'm worried that I'm about to miss one. Well, I might just create one all of a sudden. I don't know. I'm going to lose on time if I try to beat you too hard. So I'm just going to play a move that I see. I don't know what to play here. And I'm probably going to lose on time if I try to find something here. What'd you do? You're running? Uh-huh. Plan B. Plan B. Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs? Maybe? Plan B. Come on. What am I doing? Plan B. I don't know what I'm doing. You should not have mates here. Right? Wait, can I take that? Okay, I'll not take you should never have me. Oh. Good God. Oh, I have lag. Nice. Uh, do you? Can I run? I'm not taking a draw. Oh, you... Ah! I didn't think it was three times. You dirty dog. <clears throat> it was threefold, yeah. I, I meant to repeat to gain a little increment, but I didn't oh, I didn't realize it was three times. Because after king g3, queen e4, king g3, I think you're lost. Yeah. I uh, missed that you have queen f6. I, I, I knew that I had... I knew that... Anyway, I knew I had king f3. I just forgot it was three times. No, like, why did I not take king f7? It's just winning. Uh, Oh, yeah. My knight defends everything. I don't know why I thought you couldn't do that. So where did I go? I mean, this is definitely no good, but we got to, I don't know if this is, you're not, you're supposed to play f5 if you're going to go for this line, but. Yeah, yeah, take and then 97. Honestly, after you played bishop b5, like, I could probably just bring the bishop back to d3. That's yeah, you don't have to blunder your rook. <laughs> okay. All right. Good talk. All right. The wifey, How much time do we have? The wifey this texted board. me because it's four o'clock. You know, look at that. I said, honey, you can't bother me until... And uh, and I said, all right, but we still got time. Let's go. A few more. Come on. I almost played e5. That's crap again. Yeah, you beat me in this last time. Let's see if I can fix this this issue. You're going for this. You're going for this. I assume that this is probably still all okay for me. I'm going to put the Obviously. rook on e1. Even though that feels weird. I'm going to do it. I'm going to put that rook on e1. Now I'm going to go here. I'm taking the more positional approach this time, JJ. Well, that's what I expected out of the uh, the French defense battle. But I think we're both not playing that approach. <laughs> and I forgot d5 is hanging. Yeah. And now e6 is falling. What are you doing? I'm taking it. A Give it to me, baby. Six, knight f7. Oh my god. Yep. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. I'm just blundering everything. Mm. Sorry, dude. If it makes you feel good, I love you. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, I have to do something. Uh, like what? Oh, nice. I thought that I thought it was, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's all just a bowl full of smoke. 
Smoking jelly. No, I think it's good. I'm gonna go here. Yeah, and that's the good one. And then keep defending. Wait, did I just blunder? No. I did. But I'm still winning? Luckily? Maybe? More than winning. <laughs> I would say. Yeah. You had that previous move. Oh, I, I could have played that even before doubling. Yeah. Before Queen G8. Alright. Again. Again! Oh, yeah. Now you're going full. Oh, wait. You, no, oh, you we just... transposed. God. We transposed. <laughs> I forgot this part of that line. <laughs> Bishop G5 and I the other one. I don't even know is... what to do in this stuff anymore. I... All right. I'm going to do this again. doesn't even make sense, but I'm going to do it. Put the rook on E1. Put the queen here. Go for this. Bishop f6 is the whole idea of this line, and I just straight up played this. Wow. You've gone full tilt, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. At this point, that's the only explanation. Uh, okay, how do we get this guy? Hmm. Like normally, if this was in Arena Kings, I would be playing h5, h4, and all that. <laughs> but the match format just doesn't allow me to. to you should have. You should do that. I can't. Oh, I can do it on like the main position of French. Yeah, I'm just finding a way to basically resign. All right, well, let's call it right here. Yeah, I'm I, just I getting want, destroyed. You're getting destroyed. This isn't your best chess right now, but this is this was a lot of fun, okay? I mean, hey, let's all take a breath to appreciate that the French sucks. Can we just do that for a minute? Yeah. <laughs> well, you, Salem man. just raided me, so thanks for the raid, Salem. Who, who raided uh, you? Salem. Salem. Salem I love Salem, that guy. Yeah. Arabic Falcon, yeah. that guy's got a huge channel, I think, in the making. Yeah, can I sub him in? Even though he doesn't play the French, he should be good enough. <laughs> You're gonna tag out. <laughs> yeah, tag out and put Salem in. That would straight. be that's a great format if we could do tagging out, like not necessarily a ladder format, but a thematic match where you tag in and out. If someone, because sometimes you know how it is at at. You know, if you're playing not if you're playing not well, sometimes you beat yourself, right? You got it's hard to because now it's like you're on tilt, right? Um, yeah, I was tilt after I lost like. After I won the first one, I was good. The The moment I lost game three, I was like, that's it. I don't want to play chess anymore. And I tried to hide the emotions until some point it was just a disaster. Well, again, I think what we came together to do, I know a lot of people are going to say, Danny, you won the match. I'm going to tell you right now, we won the match together, JJ, because we finally put yeah. the French in its place. <laughs> and uh, no, I'm just kidding, man. I'm honestly, I honestly... Though. Really, really appreciate the match. It was fun. Thank you to everybody that watched. Um, if you want to keep streaming, I'll raid you. No, I will raid someone who's actually streaming now. I'll have to figure out who, but oh, I already know who to raid. I'm going to raid the Turkish streamer. He's trying to grow his channel, and he does need some follows. So, Well, maybe I'll keep streaming then if you want. Maybe I'll stream for a little. I'll tell my wife. You could raid me if you want. Well, if you're streaming, I'll raid you. Yeah. If you're streaming, I will raid you. Oh, Gotham Chess is live too. Well, they're pretty much all live. All perpetual the stalemate games. came. Oh, we got a lot. Of, I gotta go to Twitch and see who's live. A lot of guys. I haven't. Live. I haven't uh, been looking at Twitch here for a little bit. The best part of following chat in Streamlabs OBS is you don't have to have the Twitch browser open. Yeah, I have the Twitch chat, like Twitch browser open in my laptop. Like it's the same laptop, one screen, one camera. <laughs> I have it all open in the same place, trying to go back and forth uh, with it. Anyway, 
I had a lot of fun. This was actually a good match. I know you're upset with how you played. Obviously, I'm I'm gonna be slightly happier because I won, but I I do think that there were some instructive moments in the French for everybody. You know. Yeah, I mean, definitely. The yeah. thing is, we didn't play the stereotypical French. You know, like we never even saw the light squared bishop being worse at any point. Well, I thought I thought if we played a lot of these classicals, you would play the bishop e7 line, e5, knight d7 takes and go yeah, for yeah, some yeah. sort of Yeah, that's what I was going to play and I think that line actually is good for black. And well, why didn't you play it then? That's where our battle needs to happen. Cuz now no, that you all you did was just set up the rematch. You never played e5. You played all bishop g5 all the time. No, no, but I was thinking bishop g5, bishop e7, e5, knight d7. Oh, you, I was thinking yeah, yeah. that line. I thought that's what you would go for. No, that line is not fun for black. I mean, okay. I don't. That's why that. then we agree, right? Because that's the thing. I also agree with you. I don't like the lines with knight c3, knight f6, e5. Yeah, I think that's that... that's where like the main advantage like should be for white, but I don't know if it is actually true because there's so many good lines black can play to be fine, but. Uh, bishop g5, bishop e7. When you take the dark squared bishops out, I think it's actually favorable for white. Uh, that structure. So that's why I never played bishop e7 in my life. I always took on e4 and then maybe played knight d7 or bishop e7. Like Georg would play knight d7. And for, then. For those of I'll... you wondering, we're talking about this line here. Knight c3. But what do you think about the Tarash stuff with knight d2, knight f6, and then e5? I like that with white, so that's why I never play knight f6. I always play c5 and then okay, take, and take with the isolated line. pawn. But I also don't like the knight c3, knight f6, e5 lines for white, which is why I play bishop g5. And so we're talking about if the bishop e7 lines and you get this more like typical French structure with the bad bishop, this is what I like for white, but JJ agrees that's less than ideal. Um, of course, a lot yeah, of people play the... also bishop e4, as the chat says, McCutcheon. But yeah. I'm not, I've never played that in my life, so I'm not gonna like. It's I don't very think the, I don't think the McCutcheon's good for black, honestly. I mean, you can it's it's a rapid opening sometimes, but um, yeah. But okay, we played a lot of de, um, and we played some winnower. We didn't play. Well, okay, knight so... g three line is not supposed to be promising anything for white. I think that was but... like Gushmo Carlson, but Bishop b five check was played just like you did earlier. But I couldn't find what to do against c3 for so long. And that's the problem. Like, the lines you always played, knight g3, c5, mm -hmm. c3. It took me a while to even figure out queen b6 was there. So maybe queen b6 is not even the best move. But it's actually some try. Yeah, I actually liked your position after queen b6. Like, then you go always b4, a4. And I always have this play, at least, with pieces out so i could castle but it took me like three games to figure it out losing all the time different ways and yeah well three hour chess like championship format deathmatch format is also too like it's different i thought i'm getting hyped in bullet and then it turns out to be no because once you lose you just have to play constantly and yeah but i mean that's is, that's like the speech yet this is i mean this format yeah. is like the speech chess championship format i mean it's you know exactly it's tough to get it's, it's just so like arena kings understand. you just have to it, i i think it is hard against the same person like you can lose a couple in a row in like arena right. kings but you play a new person so you don't go on tilt when exactly you're, when no, you're playing the same kings, person so, yeah you can play different players and different openings and different positions and everything so you can get tilted play something totally different and then uh, right 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 yeah and then just figure it like forget about it but here you have to play the same opponent even in the same first few moves so i was thinking about doing tough. some puzzle rush if i'm going to keep streaming actually okay let me know if you are otherwise uh i'll rate the turkish streamer but you have to sign off and then sign in let me warn you on that one because you're using the zoom cameras. Everything's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Good point. Just just a warning. You can't actually go on and continue. Word, homie. Good point. All right, man. Well, this has been a lot of fun. I know I know yeah. it uh, was was rough for you, but, you know, it was also rough for me at times because it was hard. It was hard. 
Yeah, the bishop b4 line. Like when now I never uh, play, to be honest. The only lines I play is this d bishop e7. And then I was like, okay, let me spice it up a bit with bishop b4. And it backfired so many times. Never play something you actually don't know. <laughs> yeah. But there are so many lines in the French that you can never uh, try them all. I wanted Whoa. to play the bishop five line and so on. What happened? Kitty Kitty gifted five subs. Thank you so much, man. Um, nice. All right, man. Well, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna end up signing off too. I uh, all right. Let's I race. think that there's a lot of amazing chess streamers still going. So um, I agree. So let's go. So who are you rating? I'm going to rate Tips for Chess. He's a Turkish channel and he's been streaming a lot lately. So I have to show him some love. All right, man. Well, raid your guy. I'm going to say goodbye to send a raid. Um, and uh, until next time, if anybody here is wondering, the next time I'm going to stream, it's probably going to be on the Chess Channel on Tuesday's Pro Chess League playoffs. Probably I won't be doing any personal streams tomorrow. But um, if you if you only focus on the last like two months, I've done two streams on my channel, so that's pretty good, right? Yeah, uh, that's the record. All right, well, I'll be streaming Arena Kings. So see you everyone tomorrow. Yeah, watch JJ good. tomorrow, Arena Kings. Go follow his channel. And uh, all, all right, right, JJ, see you, man. Thanks, Danny. See you guys. Peace. All right, you got Creaker there. I'm going to send the raid probably over to my boy, Levy. I wish Pro Chess League was live. Oh, they're following European. Creaker, you got Lex Veldhaus. Maybe I should raid Lex. Okay, I raided the Turkish That'd be fun to raid Lex. Um, <laughs> he didn't realize the raid. <laughs> All right, man. See ya. Yep, thank you. See ya.